And with any luck. Hello? Did, oh. is did that it volume work? Okay. Hello? That's, I was really loud last time, I thought. Hey. Your volume is fine up, right everybody? now. Hello, everyone. Hello, ads. Hello, internet! <laughs> Welcome to Gateway. The only show where you can watch us play a Fallout RPG. It's true. Lucky dog. Not, not the Fallout around. RPG, though. <laughs> we have taste. We got a oh. different one. We do. Oh, there it is. Hey. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another rip roaring episode of Gateway. It's a real hoot, Nanny. And a half. Uh, let's go around the horn and introduce our cast here. Starting off with Caitlin. Well, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Hi there. My name is Caitlin Elizabeth. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Uh, I stream intermittently here on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash boobs McBalrog and uh, randomly post videos of <laughs> life excursions on YouTube with the same name. Uh, I think that's all the interesting bits of info I have for myself at the moment. It did the thing. What? The thing on Netflix. What thing on Netflix? The anime. Did movie. I forget something? You wrote it. Which one? <laughs> oh shoot! You're, yeah, you have a right. you have a great career when you have to I'm say sorry, that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Which oh, one are we right. speaking about? <laughs> Which one of my many accomplishments? Shut <laughs> <laughs> up! No, you me, I'm I do not sorry. get my Yuki Terry. I made another finest it's, diamond. It's been a busy week. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you watched Maboroshi, I had a large part in writing the adaptation for that. Uh, shout out to the team for bringing that to life. Uh, it was such a wild and crazy story, but uh, I, I have watched it, and it is so good. So heartfelt. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, for reminding me. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Sorry, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to you, you know. <laughs> was about to say. Oh, shit. Also, <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh it God, all comes I'm flooding sorry. back. I'm sorry. I literally, I, the only way I remember is when I look at my Instagram and I'm like, oh yeah, I made an announcement. Um, uh, if you play Lost Ark uh, and you like Armin in that game, you have likely come across Claudia in the English version. That is me. Uh, that's that's the. That's the me's. Give me the bop. That's it. <laughs> bop up. Okay, now I'm done for real. Oh god, sorry. <laughs> you sure? You don't sure you don't yes, got one I'm, more in I, there? I think so. Um, All right. I'll Yo, find out later. <laughs> oh, if I remember, I'll do it at the end. I'll write myself a post-it note. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Up next, we've got Lanny Pator. Where can hey, they find me. you? What are you up to? Find me all over the internet at Lanny Pator. Uh, been taking a bit of downtime recently. Uh, life and work have been throwing a bunch at me, but I, I still stream here, doing some stuff. Uh, was playing some Tekken on Friday. Pretty fun. Ooh. I'm pretty bad at it, I, you know. But you know mm. what? The only way to get good at something is to do more of it. Uh, so I'll probably play some more Tekken. Probably play some more Against the Storm. Uh, beyond that, lots of stuff coming down the pipe for me. Uh, Anybody who ever wanted to hear me do some dark tournament stuff as Yusuke and Kuwabara, check out Solid JJ's channel. He posted a little thingy that I worked with him on earlier today. It's it's pretty fun. But um, yeah, if you're uh, if you're a fan of tabletop RPGs and uh, want to hear more from, at the very least, myself, Connor and Caitlin, as well as Takahata101 and Shadow Dancer Bob. Tune ah. in because Monday, the ties <laughs> that bind is back. We're going to be back. For real this time. For real this time. Woo! As we enter the final arc, let's see what happens before I have to move. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, should be very interesting. I've, I've had a lot of time to think. 
which is never a good thing for the players. So tune mm -hmm. in and and see what happens. That's I hope none of us explode. Uh, that's not entirely up to me. Fair enough. That's what the dice are for. Anyway, mm. tune in and find out who explodes. Oh no, I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, well, yes. Up next, we've got Rabbit. Where can they find you and what are you up to? What's going on? My name is Rabbit. Uh, I, uh, you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and uh, YouTube at Hey Mr. Rabbit. I threw up eight more VODs. They should be available probably at midnight Eastern Standard Time. So uh, they'll probably be up in about three hours for everybody. Um, that being said, I'm a writer looking for work, a voice actor looking for work, and a uh, very funny storyteller who works as a freelancer on Twitch. So you can find me there. Uh, it's uh, my only main advance. I play, uh, if you like uh, the following genres, like action RPGs, or horror games, or um, or role playing games. That's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm doing a neat little thing this year. Uh, I uh, I told one of my friends, and um, they were like, uh, "Wow, why?" Uh, in which I went, "That's going to be a great thing to do for the channel." Um, so uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, this is going to be my frugal year. I'm not going to be paying very much for anything. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be streaming pretty much everything that exists in my stream library this year. Uh, if I get new games or whatnot, uh, I probably got them as like a little gift or a promo or something. Big old uh, recoat. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and considering I have over 800 Steam games, uh, mm. that should keep us mm. going for a while. So that's uh, that's my idea I want to be doing yeah, for my those channel. Those Steam sales, like, anytime they popped up when I was in my 20s and started having disposable income, it was like, oh, hey, I can get that now. Oh, hey, that too. I have, like, so many unplayed games. I figure we can find some fun stuff out of this, like, real good hidden gems, games that are absolute dog water. <laughs> um, I'm hoping we can do all kinds of stuff with it, uh, some good classics and real new stuff. But that's that's what I want to try to do today. Um, so yeah, if that sounds like something you want to get into, uh, yeah, twitch.tv slash hey Mr. Rabbit, that's my channel. Right on. Up next, we've got Sarah. Where can they find you? What are you up to? On uh, Twitter, it's Sarah with an H and with me, Willia, and YouTube is the same. Lord knows I haven't actually updated my YouTube in like fucking knows how long. Uh, uh I got nothing. <laughs> I have nothing to show. It's just been whatever work. Nothing to talk about. Mm. Yet. Yet. Mm. Ho ho. That's me. <laughs> and that was a dog. <laughs> yeah, I heard him through my headphones. <laughs> I hear him. He became one. He became one with the fabric of time. I think that's Frankie. He's he's sad that my mother is out of the house. Aw. He should be going to bed soon here anyway. Uh, but regardless, um, other than my dogs barking, uh, you they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Tumblr, and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. I stream, uh. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, I do occasionally other streams on other days, but uh, tune into either my Discord or my Twitter for if updates on that. Uh, yes. Um, I'm currently working on some D&D homebrew supplements. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Um... And I think that's everything that's for me to say right now for me. Uh, this episode, however, was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! <laughs> he, had to, he had to rev up for that one. I know, I it's like to. a car driving by. Woohoo, Die Hard Dice! 
Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. You can get dice. You can get green dice, red dice, pink dice. Caitlin, throw me a color. Cyan. You are not Caitlin, but I'll take it. That is a good color. <laughs> Honestly, your yelling peaked out the either mic. That, I or, couldn't hear who you were saying. I, I didn't that, hear or, it either. I'm sorry. Or it's not about has a really killer Lanny impression. Yeah. Come on, Discord. Wait, All wait. Right. Uh, <clears throat> okay, here's here's my Lanny impression. Oh, please do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nick, say something. Nick, say something. Yeah, see? That's okay, I'll reply. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, wow. Nice. <laughs> Although, I do have to mark off several points. Uh, Nick is not a color. <clears throat> not a color yet mm. yes mm. not yet also check out our merch store we got tons yeah. of designs that are available uh basically whatever product you could think of we've got uh, t-shirts stickers uh other apparel uh mugs just a bunch of stuff and you can check it out on our spring store um we also couldn't do this week in, week out without bits and subs from wonderful viewers. Hmm. Viewers such as. Uh. <laughs> Hang on. I need, to, I need to refresh my stream here. Oh. Oh. Viewers such as Mad Monk Montague. Thank you for the 100 bits. Define user, uh, define user error. Thank you for the 39 months. And Godly Gino. Thank you for the 100 bits. Gino. What happened when you got out? <laughs> Why are you so godly? Well, with that, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose we should go ahead and get into tonight's episode of Gateway. Oh, yes, it's about that time. Oh, yeah. You're not Apex. I am now. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Holy this is, shit. This is not my beautiful home. This is not this my is... beautiful apex. <laughs> now I'm gonna you got to make sure to feed your apex to keep his coat all shiny. Now I'm going to be guessing <laughs> if it's Caitlyn or Lanny all night. I know. I'm going to keep Crazy. you guessing. Nick's going to be like, wait, did I say that? Or I don't know. I'll, I'll believe I will. I've gaslit myself enough. Oh I, just my God. I just wanted to go ahead and just make a funny for the brand. I started this. This is my this is my cross to bear. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty. Let me put my voice on. You don't have the old timey radio filter. Not for you guys. Oh good. I hear it. Oh, no, I don't. When last we left the runaways, Apex the wild man, Alvin the mechanic, Louise the scavenger, and Cynthia the nurse, they were hunkered down in the Jefferson Barracks, home of the Brotherhood of Steel, where they awaited the return of their companion, Cynthia, who arrived moments later, along with Apex's brother, Bruce Dredd. The joyful reunion was cut short, however, when... Bruce revealed that his and Apex's parents were both missing. Though this news gave the group an initial panic, it was quickly revealed that Cynthia and Dave actually met Apex's parents at the Science Center, as they were the ones she was tasked with helping. Bruce left the group to go get yelled at, while the runaways pondered where their next stop would be. After revealing they had access to the radio tower in Westport, Elder Savage sent Paladin Dread along with the group to ensure they could affix a signal booster to the towers so that they could contact the Greater Brotherhood of Steel. With plans to head into the Botanical Gardens to retrieve their parents' equipment, what will they find when they get there? Find out now on tonight's episode of Gateway! And so, you all wake up after a good night's rest, only briefly interrupted when Bruce's curiosity got the better of him. Uh, 
and you find yourselves once more at the Jefferson Barracks. Does does um can I roll to wake up before Bruce? Um sure. We'll probably just we'll roll off and see whoever rolls the highest. Just roll me straight 2d6. Okay. I hate these Ten. symbols. Also, Alvin, your scoop cat. It it, it don't oh. It don't oh wait! Matter. It don't matter. None of this matters. Matter. Oh. None of this matters. <laughs> uh, just uh, just two d six. Just just two d six. Got you. That's everybody two d six. I got you. Go ahead and uh, it's a seven for the apex. Let me see what I rolled. I rolled a seven. Same hat. Cynthia doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cynthia, Cynthia is already awake. Sleep. I'm. I don't sleep, so <laughs> it's. Yeah, I don't need to. Let's see. Didn't he wake up at one point and she just like stared at him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Because he tried to reach in your bag and said, "Oh he, no!" And Carl yeah. was like, "You, you, you, you caught him in the middle of the night trying to sneak a peek into your bag because he was curious what, who you were talking to." Uh, you do read in my fact comics. He'd know. All <laughs> of you, in fact, wake up before Bruce. Wow! Se he's, seems like he's he might have. He's bad at being a military boy. Seems he might have uh, lost a little bit of sleep last night. Oh, did he? <laughs> I wonder why. Because <laughs> <laughs> shit. He's he is so conscious. Like you know, when any light is on in your room and it just lights up the whole fucking area. That's Kara's red lights eyes just Meow. on him the whole night, and he's in the corner by himself, so only his corner is lit up red. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'd probably be around when uh, Apex and Alvin begin to stir is when he would uh, start waking up oh, himself. Can, can I can I do something if I'm the first? I wasn't sure if you were saying we all beat him. Sure. Don't worry, it's nothing. It's... it's <laughs> I so... stab him. At... <laughs> <laughs> I stab him. So well, I'm awake now. <laughs> if, if Louise wakes up first, she'll she'll stir and and her head will lift up and she'll look towards her backpack all of a sudden, and she'll look over at Bruce, and she'll grin, and she'll sort of sidle her way out from under Alvin's arm as carefully as possible, and. And she'll look at Kara, who's probably like aware she's doing this. Oh yeah. She'll just put a finger to her lips, like, and continue. Go over to a bag, reach in, grab Phil. Oh no. Sort of look at him and just and nod her head, like, just like okay. Sort of contain her chuckle. She'll go over to Bruce's bed, and she'll just put the skull right at the base of the bed. Just facing oh him. God. Just facing him. Like, like if, if there's enough room past his feet to just stick it. She'll just stick it there, facing him. Kara will smile at this. She'll nod at her work, and she'll go back and very carefully sort of get, sidle in next to Alvin like she didn't just wake up, and she'll just be like, ah, okay. Continue. And action. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a couple minutes after you do this, uh, go by, uh, Apex, Alvin, you're you're starting to stir from your slumber. Uh, that's when you hear a Duh! from from Bruce's side of the uh, side of the barracks, so your sleeping quarters. I hear that. Uh, I hear that sound. I roll like I roll and just kind of like rock up down into a crouched position, almost stumbling off the bed, not used to sleeping off of the ground. Yeah, you see, you see uh, Bruce in much of the same sort of like immediately springs out of bed, knife drawn. Uh, but he quickly settles down upon seeing that uh, it was just in fact a skull and just uh, a prank, bro. Ju recognition dawns on his face afterwards. <laughs> Louise is sort of, um, she's got her face buried in Alvin's shit. She's sort of just going. 
He he like sh- he like shrugs and shakes his head. Fair enough. Kara is just flatly smiling at him. Like oh, single dude. line <clears throat> smile with teeny corners at the end, just slightly turned up. You oh, always gives up. Mischief, didn't you? What me? Uh, Louise just drops the game. What me? Oh. What are you talk about? Oh, Phil! What the? Gets up, goes and gets the skull. Phil, what in the world are you doing? Are you scaring our friend, Bruce? Oh, that is just shakes her finger at him like a naughty child. Just that is just not called for. Looks at Bruce, smiles. No, Bastion, Phil, Bastion, you're right. In it was uncalled for. Bastion calms down. <sighs> good morning, Phil. He says good morning. He turns. He turns around longer. and raises an eyebrow at you. I, I look at him, just like kind of cock my head. I guess that makes sense. From the corner seat, Kara sitting, you know, perfectly ninety degree angle on the chair with hands in lap. Oh, Phil, you rascal! <laughs> Smiles. <sighs> That's it. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Where are we heading now? North to the yeah. garden, and then a little bit, and then I I look to the rest of you to check on my mom and dad. Yeah, it's fine with me. Goes to put Phil back in her backpack and sling it over her shoulders. Perfectly reasonable. And if anything mechanical's busted down, I can go ahead and get it running again. Maybe, possibly. Uh, I should say won't. Won't Dr. Howell be mad? Oh my god, Dave came into existence on his own. He's learning. Ba- ba- it's ba- called uh, character development. Yeah. <laughs> He's I'm evolving. I'm so proud of him! Bastion, uh, Bastion looks towards him. These are our parents. This is non-negotiable. Yeah. Whoever this Dr. Howell is, he can deal. And I look at Dave, and I wasn't the one who said his name. And I look over to Cynthia. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Cynthia is now standing, fist clenched. Who was it who said Howell? It was Dave. Dave. It was Dave. <laughs> she is staring so hard at Dave. He, he's you got one. Really? He's got to look like, <laughs> like, oh no. Oh. You're not. Oh. Well, I guess Bruce is part of the family now. My family. Yes, thank you for that, <laughs> Apex. I nod. Today is already fun. I like this. Bruce, you understand that if you tell anyone about the name that you just heard, we do have to kill you. Bastion looks at you. I was about to say you can try, and then I remember that you did once. I'm not going to tell anyone. Unless, you know, it's like really really important cynthia raises a finger and shakes it Uh, (laughs) that's what i'm talking about man it has not even been an hour (laughs) alvin says getting on his speed suit (laughs) just sort of walks by bruce to stand by the doorway and she just just gets puts she just pats a hand on his shoulder just like well it's nice knowing you just remember bruce only one of us has to sleep. As I get what? up and kind of like get my stuff on, like I, I assume like Cynthia walks away after that threat. Yeah. As as I like kind of sling my stuff over my shoulder and start getting my outfit on, I, I walk past him. I say, don't worry, we could sleep in shifts. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. It's fine. 
I, 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 I look at Kara and Cynthia as they're walking away, and I look back to him. You should be a little worried. <laughs> you lose one 4v1, and everyone thinks you're a pansy. It was a 3v1. Oh, yeah. There was... Oh, it was, it was... It was her that was missing. Mm. Wasn't well, it? I nod. Mm. Oh, yeah, her we definitely would have... on a swivel in its Kara's eyes. <laughs> oh, we definitely... Away. Yeah, we definitely would have kicked your ass if she'd been in there. <sighs> well, there's no use arguing about it. Nope. Afraid not. All right, let's get it done, I guess. And he uh, climbs into the uh, power armor that was just sort of standing sentinel in the uh, corner of the room. And you hear the hydraulic hisses and metallic cranks as the armor affixes to his form. The sleek, uh, dark gray uh, matte finish on the stealth power armor. Um, being uh, as unique as it is. Uh, comes to life. You see the, uh, you see briefly, uh, there is, there is a lamp that sort of protrudes out of the Death Claw's skull, uh, that then quickly shuts off afterwards. After you. Bastion dons the mask of the Apex thus becoming the apex and heads out. Cynthia puts a uh, firm, firm arm around Dave. Gives his shoulders a little squeeze. To be fair, I think I told him yesterday, didn't I? No, you didn't. I didn't? No. We agreed to not tell him. We made him walk away while we talked. Remember? Remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did do that, huh? So next time we have a life or death secret that we need to keep from everybody else but 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 us, let's keep it maybe to ourselves, huh? Sorry, I was never any good at keeping secrets. That's why I was always in the lab. Well, that's good information I'll, to know. I'll be better from now on, I promise. All right. And it just... doesn't... It doesn't sound like we it sounds like it was going to be inevitable anyway, right? Like she gives his shoulders another squeeze. Hmm. Just saying they seem pretty dead set on going to the science center anyway. Let's just go to the botanicals, the botanical gardens. Let's, let's okay. go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. And the now six of you set out. It's the biggest the party we've ever had. It mm -hmm. is. Because Dave can't be left unattended. Not, not anymore. Especially, especially not now. He's a baby bird. We got to carry him. During well, combat, we're... though, he does have the amazing advantage to just not be noticed. <laughs> yeah, he just sinks into the bushes like Homer Simpson. His just self like, is so high. <laughs> <laughs> he is so lucky. That Kara loves him. He's lucky he's got oh, a cute butt. So lucky. You're lucky you got a cute, fleshy human butt. <laughs> it makes a delightful thwack when smacked. True. My audio receptors are peaked every time. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I've saved it. It's called Dave Butt Dot Wave. You think it you'd think it hindered me when I'm trying to stealth, but it doesn't. <laughs> oh boy, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the clapping of my ass cheeks keeps giving away my position. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, a white racer looks over his shoulder. What the hell is that? So it's, it's the sound of one hand clapping. <laughs> mm. I always wondered what that sounded like. Uh, oh, no, and so you, and so you set off. <laughs> Uh, 
what path would you like to follow? Uh, I'd, I'd imagine we'd kind of take this northwestern route up what looks uh, to be this old jagged road. Or yeah, northeastern yeah, yeah, yeah. route, map. sorry. New map, new map, new map, new map. <laughs> I think someone just wants to go in a straight line up in all the dark spots we've got. <laughs> okay, straight line through all of the uncharted territory. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's full yeah. of bees, rad bees. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. do sk They do kick flips. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Show me the straight, beats. straight line up. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love uncovering the map. It's my favorite. You would have been the best cartographer centuries ago. Oh my god! <laughs> it's true. All right. As you turn and begin to walk up, okay. The uh, toy to toy. Sorry, I'm just. Getting down here, uh, you come across uh, some old railroad tracks as you begin to leave Jefferson Barracks. Um, seems as though this might have been a, a small uh, sort of township that ran through the, the center. Um, to your... Uh, to the east is a small river that runs through what looks to be a small township. Oh, gosh. Um, Connor, we've had uh -huh. several sleeps since the uh, uh, super mutant fight. I was at seven health. Can I assume I'm back to ten now? Yeah, you could probably be a safe bet. Sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You continue marching forward. We do. Mm -hmm. uh, the road sort of uh, forces you to uh, follow along a river, uh, the river mentioned earlier, that sort of cuts right between your path. Uh, you Where could... do we park our boat? Oh, way up at the Lewis and Clark Museum. I, I can't remember if we parked it there or if we left it at Louise's. Uh, no, we, we took it back to the, uh... Okay. Yeah. Uh, your, your path could, um, uh, you, you could cross the, the river, but you would probably, uh, getting soaked in the radiation blasted, uh, river would probably not be great for your health, but you could do it. <laughs> we. Oh, no, I was just curious. It's just like, I heard river. I'm like, oh, yeah, we had a boat. What happened to that? Mm-hmm. It's waiting for us, like our car. Car won't fit six. How Boat do we don't might. Put, we can put someone in the trunk. We can put Dave on the roof. <laughs> Problem is the power armor we're carrying now. Like Mad Max. The man with power armor can walk. I'll get there eventually. He can turn invisible. <clears throat> He's Mr. Finish Line. Uh, so would you, would you like to cross the river or would you like to follow uh, along its path? It will give you a slight detour. I uh, would like to follow along its path if possible and see if there's a way to cross it that's easier. Okay. Bast Bastion is perfectly fine swimming it, but he also knows he's kind of dumb. You already had to have radiation treatment the last time you went to river. It's that's where true. I bathe. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. In a radical bathhouse. You begin to follow the the river along its uh, length. It uh, sort of looks like it's a bit more shallow uh, than when in, uh, it existed before the war. Uh, but it is still enough uh, to sort of hamper your path. And so you uh, cross into... 
<laughs> you cross into <laughs> an a uh, old township uh, that appears to be completely abandoned. Sorry, I'm grabbing some stuff here. No, I got you. All good. You see uh, the rotten wood of a few houses and businesses nearby. Uh, buildings that are mostly just completely rubble at this point. Um, um. As you cross into the Twilight Zone, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. uh, you see the you see a sign that is sort of bent and broken. But it's still legible to you, however, and it reads Boulevard Heights. Hmm. Uh, is there anything particular about this little living community? Does it look like just a uh, suburban neighborhood or like it one of those? It looks completely destroyed. Oh, wow. So par for the course ish <laughs> or even more so more, than usual, more so than usual. Mm. The Yikes. roads, the roads here are sort of cracked and blasted. Um, it looks like maybe a, a major fight went down here oh. at some point. Uh, as opposed to as opposed to the rubble that usually surrounds you, this appears to be recently destroyed. Okay. Like maybe so, within the last uh, couple within the, within the last couple of years or so. I'm looking for s some very particular types of uh, destruction, like ordnance destruction, you know, like explosives. But um, more importantly, I'm looking for scorch marks, like burn holes in things that might have been caused by an archer's magcaster. Make a wits roll. That's an eight. Uh, sure enough, as you look around, uh, you see... Uh, indeed some scorch marks that appear to be uh, the telltale signs of uh, you, you, you even uh, begin to scratch at some of the uh, soot marks and reveal uh, little bits of uh, molten metal that are just fused into the sides of walls and businesses. Hmm. I look to my brother. Sight of a battle while you were being pushed back. This was before I joined up. But this is Boulevard Heights. From what I learned, this was the site of a major skirmish between the Brotherhood and the Archers. It looks like it. Yeah, those weapons of theirs. I don't know how they got their hands on that technology, but it tears through armor like butter. Uh, I gave the magcaster to Cynthia, right? Yes. The one that I took off the bear? Yep. Yes. I, I, I point over to you. What about hmm? the one I gave you? Oh, this thing? Pulls out the magcaster. Shows it to uh, Apex and Bruce. My Yagwai, uh, my Yagwai pulled it off of a archer. Uh, he he sort of uh, takes a step to the side and he he looks a bit shocked. The only time I've ever seen one up close is when I'm fighting archers. 
on, I shot you in the knee with one, remember? I remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just just just, just, just glares shot. at you. Yes. Alvin <laughs> just Alvin just has a smile next to her if it says, sorry, we shot you in the knee. <laughs> with the molten bolt. Looks of around metal. like It looks around like well, we were all trying to kill him in that point, remember? Yeah. Was, oh, I was, was, oh, I remember yeah, Sir Shot. Yeah. I, I was just trying to debilitate him. Look at Bruce. You still got a mean <laughs> rifle, I gotta say. Hey, don't worry about me. I only got a little one now. <laughs> well, with guns, well, it's not the size of them, so. That's fantastic, but. It's how many you have. If you want to keep it, don't tell the Elder you have it. I don't intend on it. We've been trying to reverse engineer that technology for years. Good point. Raises an eyebrow. Well, appreciate your honesty about it then. Well... How far have you come in your search? Not very. With our facilities as barren and understaffed as they are, uh, our number being so few as it is, and our lack of the usual Brotherhood fare for technology, we haven't been able to really make much progress in R&D research. Our last big breakthrough was this. And he's, he sort of pats his chest, uh, indicating to the stealth power armor he's currently wearing. I was wondering what exactly say we get to the radio and you get your signal. What is it you believe the Brotherhood would bring to this city? What is it that they want? Order, I guess. I think they would Definitely try to push the archers out of the arch grounds again. That's almost a certainty. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty. There's no way to work with them, huh? After everything. The elders got a lot of personal history with the archers and well so do some of the people that are back on base I won't say it's impossible never say never and all that but It would take a lot of convincing, is all I'm saying. Bastion nods. Ugh. I mean, oh. the fact you say it's not an impossibility is kind of an amazing thing in itself. It's just... <sighs> I think a lot of us are tired, is all. The Elder, he's... You're... They've killed yours, you killed theirs. There is anger on both sides that will never go away. Yeah. We've also got bigger fish to fry now. <clears throat> Y'all talking so about Johan and all them? Sort of, yeah. Still makes me uncomfortable. Wish does. Everything about Johan. I just feel like there's still a way to work it out with him, you know? <sighs> that depends on him. Right. But we can't count on his good graces. Look, I'm not who I was anymore. If it came down to it, I'd go ahead and 
back in the day, yeah, I'd fight up against him. Zero hesitation, but if there's a way to go ahead and talk it out with him, I'll talk it out with him. But if not, you got to go ahead and understand that we can hold, that we got to hold the line and be able to defend ourselves if diplomacy breaks down, right? I know. I just feel a little out of the loop, you know. It took us by yeah. surprise too. We've had <sighs> a few more days to process, and we saw it with our own eyes. Right. It's, yeah. I mean, it always feels different when you're hearing about it secondhand. Bastion nods. You don't gotta worry about it. I. I couldn't imagine what it'd be like to fight him. I. Heck, the super mutants alone, I, I can't believe I took down the number I did. Apex more so. But, ah, shucks. One I thing at a time, I suppose. It bites. I, I don't want to have to fight him. But I would <clears throat> if I had to. If it meant survival. I don't either. I had steak with that man. <laughs> you don't go ahead and back out of steak. Hmm. <laughs> That's sharing true. sharing a meal is it makes you understand a person better that's exactly right sharing meals best sign of trust regardless of everywhere I went to that was the best way to go ahead and just hold out the olive branch being able to have a nuka cola and whatever the heck kind of beast is on the plate that's what we normally work with. Well. Continue if following you, the river. If you can manage to make a super mutant series and perhaps there's hope for us all. He is more intelligent than the average super mutant. For better yeah. or worse. So you've said, according to the Brotherhood's databases, apparently a lot of them used to be like that. Get out of here, really? There were reports that some of them were even smarter than most humans. Really? I've met some humans that lead me to believe that's not an impossibility. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's true. The... FEV virus, it affects people in different subtle ways, but a lot of the time when it comes into contact with mutated DNA, which uh, apparently a lot of us have due to just background radiation, it Apex warps. scratches his third nipple. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't want that lore. I would have been fine without it. <laughs> The deepest of lore drops. It adversely affects the mind, but people who aren't exposed to so much background radiation, people who grew up in vaults mostly, um, they tend to produce a smarter super mutant. So, oh. wait, Johan grew up in a vault then? Uh, uh, he shrugs. <laughs> I, my guess is as good as you are. Because mm. you said, because <laughs> you said that's normally the case, right? Like somebody like me is super mutant, ain't too bright, but somebody in the vault. You said there's a chance uh, he could be right. out the way saying to become smarter. Right. As a result. Mm. Mm. Uh, no offense to you, but I think. Oh, of course. Someone like you, who was who grew up uh, in the wasteland, were exposed to FEV. Chances are you would uh, be one of the less intelligent super mutants. But if someone born in a vault is exposed to FEV, they uh, there's a greater likelihood of them maintaining their intelligence, or in some cases, getting smarter. Hmm. There's uh, a report, wild. actually, uh, 
back in uh, back at the uh, back at the Institute of a uh, experiment on a super mutant. Uh, we called him. Well, that was it was his name, but we just called him Swan. Uh, for a few weeks, he was really intelligent, and then he just quickly devolved. Oh. Did he hit his head? No. It, it was the FEV. It changed his brain. Mm. So, it so it took, and then it didn't after a while. In the end, we had to let him go, because he mutated into a behemoth. What? Let him go? Well, yeah. What do you mean by let him go? I guess you can't expect a bunch of scientists to fight something like that. We... I, I say we is in the Institute, which I'm not a part of anymore. He holds his hands up defensively. We let Swan out into the Commonwealth. So you just let the behemoth out so that everyone, the Institute, she puts a hand out, the Institute let Swan out. Are you telling me that Johan might run into Swan? Or is Johan Swan? No, I I really I don't think Johan is Swan. We what? never we never really did uh, many experiments with the whole you know the telekinesis and all of that. Right, but you said he was only there for a couple weeks. Uh, well, ab about. <sighs> It's been a long time since I looked at the report. Maybe over the course of a month, I think. So he was pumped full of no. FEV for a month straight? No, no. He wasn't... It's it's called... We called it dunking. You basically have a big vat and you just, you know... And he, like, makes a motion with his hand of, like, dunking something in. Uh... <laughs> Wow, that sounds much better. And th that's that's it. They mutate pretty much instantly. Cynthia plus, pinches the bridge of her nose. Plus, Boston is really far away. I don't think he walked all the way from there. Unless he did, because we did. <clears throat> no. Yo Johan isn't Swan. Cynthia no. looks at Dave for a long minute. <laughs> no, there's no since we know I'm, Johan is. I'm Johan, like ninety percent sure. Right, because because of the arena and whatnot, and I like unfurl some of the coffin notes that I had in my tool tool belt. Yeah, like these and whatnot. Like, yeah, no, there he has to be local around here. <laughs> there can't be. He can't be the same one, or oh, so God there could be two. two. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, well, hell's bells. Realistically, behemoths are and enough of them exist that we have a classification for them. Yeah, there, there's probably, in all likelihood, more than two in existence. But we've never seen one that can go back and forth. From a regular super mutant to a behemoth, like Johan can. So he's really like a anomaly. Really yeah, that, okay, so. that kind of mutation is literally unheard of. And I'm not honestly sure how it works, because in order for that to happen, his cells would have to replicate at a staggering pace, and I don't know a whole lot about super mutant physiology, but it. Uh, we we, it, we don't think they can get cancer, but be, it's safe to say once they become a behemoth, that's it. There's no going back. There's no going back in most cases, but apparently Johan can. Huh? That is damn weird. So he 
would have to be able to freely be able to manipulate the cells in his body. And then also be <clears throat> able to destroy the cells in his body. Holy hell. The, the power alone that has to go ahead and do... Oh, yeah, man. I'm not. I'm not sure what what his deal is. I'm really stumped, honestly. I mean, I didn't know much about psychic stuff until now, like until recently. The most I have to go off of Dave is like, um, what what Apex was telling me about with uh, with Grongnak, with uh, that wizard feller. Hmm. That that's about as much as I have to. Now I don't think he can throw out lightning or what have you, but. We have not seen him do it yet. The fact that he said yet, that's, that's <laughs> yes. bad. I'm not fond of that yet. Yeah. <sighs> we also didn't know that he could grow or be psychic, so. True. We thought, we thought that was, we, we thought the psychic stuff at the arena was something else for the longest time. Oh dear. I uh, know, right? I'm just I'm just a mechanic with some power fists. <laughs> oh man. Kinda of challenging though. I gotta up my game a little bit. You continue to walk and talk for um a few hours on foot. Just, just keeping a, a brisk but, but, um, steady pace. You begin to hear off in the distance, uh, a commotion that sort of pierces the quiet of the wasteland. Bruce sort of stops in his tracks and, and looks up like a like a dog hearing a sound. I do relatively the same thing. Just kind of hunker down, get into my crouch pose, and just listen. You hear that? Mm. Does it sound like human? Like, uh, what, what sort of a commotion? Does it sound like a violent commotion? A, Make a uh, wits roll. Okay. That's an 11. 11. You... Begin to focus in on the sounds you're hearing, um, and the the wind dies down just a little bit, and you can hear more clearly. You hear shouting and gunfire. Uh oh. Mm, sounds like a conflict. We're close to the mechanical to gardens. We should sneak. We should sneak further in and survey the situation. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna walk up. <laughs> You'll need some cover. I'll help you out. Bastion you just all... not. Bastion nods to his brother and like just kind of uh, looks back to everybody else. And it's unclear. You passed by this way on your way down. What sort of forces were inside? Um. Oh goodness! One moment. <laughs> notes, Feels so notes, long notes, ago. Notes. Notes. No. 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 I didn't really get any idea of what sort of uh, amount of people are inside, but there must be some kind of a community hold up in there. How was he armed? Just a rifle. Hunting hmm. rifle. Wasn't anything special. I'm going to sneak further ahead. Just try to get a gauge on the situation. 
Go for it. Before it resolves was... itself. Yes, I'm going to try and see if Darwin's up there. If with any luck, I can lend a hand or intervene. They may be the be. ones who... Mm. Or I can calm it down. Either way. And she just starts walking. Bastion, like, start, uh, Bastion starts dashing ahead, but trying to stay under brush or behind cover. Uh, like you, you... Back up, uh, Cynthia. You all hear a high-pitched as, uh, from the stealth armor, the active camouflage begins to envelop the exterior of the armor, and Bruce goes invisible. The, the loud tromping of his footsteps immediately becomes, uh, just the quietest shifting. Apex, your, your finely tuned uh, hearing is probably the only one that can really catch on the footprints or the footsteps. I also try to train myself to watch as his feet make indents in the uh, dirt and dead grass. Yeah, as you focus in on where he was, you can sort of see, like, a silhouette uh, where it looks like the light is sort of distorted into the vague shape of a, of a large, bulky humanoid form. But you really have to look at it. The telltale shimmer. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you and Bruce sneak forward, he's got crazy bounces for this. Oh, yeah, he's fine. I mean, he's also invisible, so... You know, a little bit of cheating. <laughs> <laughs> well, Who used the console command? Uh, yeah, he, he has no problem sneaking forward. Uh, why don't you go ahead and give me a wits roll as well? I will. Ten. Yeah, easy enough for you as well. You, you both sneak forward, a pair of brothers. Uh, sort of stealth and combat specialists... By, by happenstance more than anything, uh, you sneak forward, and as you close in on these, uh, unknown to you, these... Uh, outer walls outside of Tower Grove Park... The sound of fighting gets closer. Also, does uh, anybody else go up with them? Or are Alvin, Louise, and Cynthia hanging back? Uh, uh, Cynthia I was just going to walk up. like Yeah, you, you, were, you were just walking up normal-like and the rest of you as well? Yeah, uh, Bastion, yeah, Bastion and Bruce are the ones that kind of like ran ahead to scope the sitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, Cynthia's hope is to spot Darwin and uh, either intervene and be like, hey, long time no see, or like if it's someone <laughs> she knows, then she can back them up. Uh, since we're in a fight scene right now, Alvin's ears are pricking up because uh, Cynthia said hunting rifle out of Darwin. I'm picking up, I'm trying to hear if there's anything like automatic gunfire, the sound of literally a hunting rifle going off. Roll me a wits roll as well. Okay. That's a CX. It it's so far away, and it, there's so much of it. It's hard to tell exactly what sort of weapons are being used. Uh, but. Well, as the three of you, well, the four of you with Dave, uh, begin to approach, uh, Cynthia, you see the familiar sort of black iron gate outside of this small community. Uh, and before you all, uh, especially you, uh, Apex and Bruce, uh, you see a pretty big firefight happening. Cynthia, you see the familiar face of Darwin leveling his hunting rifle uh, at what appear what 
uh, you can immediately identify as a pack of white razors. Oh, uh, shit. And you yeah. now see that there are are several more uh, people inside the gate that are firing into this crowd of uh, raiders. Uh, I kind of sneak close to my brother. Should we let them thin each other out? Or do we help the ones inside the gate? That depends on if the ones inside the gate are worth saving. Hmm. Then we'll see what call Cynthia makes. All right. Looks to Alvin just be like, the hell is this? Some kind of turf war? This don't seem much like no turf war I ain't never seen before. I'm gonna... We're close enough that I can tell that they're white razors, right? Oh, yeah. Do any of them look uh, like the regular smattering, or do some of these look like people I recognize or like higher ranked uh, raiders? People uh, reached mastery in uh, raidering. Make another people, people who can blood scream real good. <laughs> <laughs> Make another wits roll to see if you can identify any of the white razors currently in here. Oh, come on, buddy. Can right, I also five. wits roll for what's what's being yelled? Or like what this seems to be about before I enter the fray? Um yeah, you can you can listen in to see if you can pick up on any uh, battle cries or conversations being held. Seven. Seven? It is technically a success. Technically. Um, and the Alvin, for you, the, the battle is so fast-paced and chaotic, it's, it's hard to tell faces from this angle. Um... Uh, Cynthia, you you pick up on some shouting from the White Razor side. Kill them all! We gotta take this spot! Uh, yep. Uh, those are words that Cynthia's not cool with. So, uh, fighty time! Fighto, fighto. <clears throat> uh, I have my rifle back, do I not? I do. Yes, I gave it back. How many rounds did you give me back? I forget. I gave you back the three. I only three. have three left. Oh my lord. It was a super mutant fight. You don't know. Yeah, fine, sure. Uh huh. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> there were a yeah, lot I don't of guys. Know. All there I know is I have three rounds for... left. I'll never forget the banker. Make them count. <laughs> right, the <laughs> banker. <laughs> I, I genuinely thought you had more than that. I thought you just gave me like some of your ammo. You're telling me you gave me all your ammo? As far as Mundo right. files. Well, now I feel slightly bad. But time again, to, super mutants. Time to make a withdrawal you... on your life. Well, in, Jesus Christ, in, I the half of it. In the wasteland, ammo is scarce. And this is, I think, the first time it's become a problem. All right. Cynthia's going to shoot a white razor. All right. Uh, the one that is nearest to Darwin, I think, that may be threatening him in some way, shape, or form. All righty. Uh, let me go ahead and kick it off officially then as... Uh-oh, the fight's out. Cynthia's going to shoot your lights out. <laughs> <laughs> Rhyming. All right. So, Cynthia, first action of the combat. Uh, you are shooting a white razor. Correct. All righty. The one that is nearest to Darwin, so that he will be safe to make eye contact with her and see that she is here to help. Uh, go ahead and roll that body roll then. Watch out for my body roll. Six. Uh, as the white razors hadn't noticed you yet. Mm hmm. I'll go ahead and say. Uh, for the the plus shot. One? No. The oh. <laughs> the shot alerts them. Um, they uh, 
a bullet whizzes by the uh, white razor whose head you were aiming at, uh, and he sort of like turns his head to look at look at the shot where uh, it landed in some like rubble and a spray of concrete burst out from an angle where they weren't being shot at previously. He turns his head back. Uh, and if and Darwin also turns, I hope. Yeah, the 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 white racer you shot at points at you with a shaking hand and says, "We got a third party here," and uh, that catches some of the other people's attention. Uh, Darwin as well uh, briefly looks over his shoulder, double takes at you, and he goes over to an uh, a figure wearing a uh, like a gray. Um, Full body cloak. You can't see any of their features, um, but they're wielding some sort of strange weapon. Uh, it's big and bulky, uh, and it's uh, largely uh, silver in color. Okay. Uh, it does not look very rustic at all. It looks looks pretty advanced technology. Um, and you see the figure's head shift over in your direction. And, uh, and Cynthia th and will... Oh, sorry, Dar Yeah, no, Darwin would mutter something to them, and, uh... The figure, like, sort of frantically beckons you over. Uh, as she's running over with whoever else is behind her. Cavalry's here, Darwin! There's gonna be a couple of us, so don't be too alarmed! Uh, as the shot rings out, Bastion would look and kind of take that as a sign. Looks like the call's been made. And he rushes towards the nearest uh, white razor, kind of at like that sort of flanking position that he and, bro he and his brother are in, so hopefully trying to like kind of take him from behind, jump up and kind of, uh, I don't know. If I'm close mm -hmm. enough, I'll attack this round. If not, uh, I you, will close the distance. Did the... Uh... The position of the sun uh, sort of gives you an advantage as the the shadows of the dead trees uh, give you camouflage. Uh, you are you are sneaking up and you are attacking a white razor. Yeah, basically uh, just going to run up, kind of like ring my claw around the back of his, like in front of his neck, and then just kind of pull as I circle around. All right. Uh... Bruce will do the same. Go ahead and give me a body roll. Uh, yeah. That's a 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a spray of blood, the Dread Brothers enter the scene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the You sneak up on a white razor and you uh, begin to try to rake the claw uh, across their neck. But the almost supernatural reflexes of of this white razor, he brings his hand up over his throat right before your claw makes contact and a spray of blood comes out, but not as much as you thought it would be. It appears that this white razor has already shot up on something. And though you did injure him, it does not take him down in one hit. However, your brother following up. Oh, my God. Yeah, you you see him, uh, the White Razor, push out of your grasp and then run into something invisible with a poing. And you see the White Razor get lifted off the ground, uh, choking and sputtering and gripping at his throat before you hear a... As seemingly with one hand, your brother has crushed the throat of this White Razor. I nod... And then turn my attention back to the ne to the next couple. Uh, any, I know they're I know they're high on some forms of amphetamines and whatnot. But uh, any of them around here, do they think that there's a ghost just crushing skulls now? Like just any <laughs> of them? <laughs> um, let's see what they think. I'll 
I'll be damned, it's a ghost. In initially, uh, initially you see some of the group of the white razors begin to sort of like step back and sort of a feral pounce. Uh, but one of the white razors, uh, Alvin, you now recognize this individual as you've gotten closer. It's the white razor that was back at the steel mill. <laughs> what? <coughs> Oh, oh shit! Which no. one? The one, the one that I left hanging upside down, then we let leave. No, the big tribal one. The big tribal one. Ah. His name was. Oh, what was his name? Oh god. Uh, oh, uh, um, God, it was. Um. Don't say Steve. It would be funny, but don't say Steve. <laughs> Abby, and Abby. Steve. I'm Steve. I'm little Stevie. Hello, Stevie. Alvin, I think we're gonna have to kill this guy, Alvin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh damn it! Yeah, he, he's, oh, he rant. was one of he was one of the two white razors that you let go that day. Uh, the other one just sort of shrugged and agreed to stop doing bad stuff. Yeah, the 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 the, the surfer dude one. Yeah. Yeah, like cool. that one. Yeah, I'm looking. I cannot find his name, dude. I am so uh, sorry. That's that's. It fine. won't matter anyway. It won't matter soon. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but he he points over as he, as he sees his guy sort of beginning to cow in your presence. They're out in the open this time, and one of them's using a stealth boy. What? Damn, he's smart. Uh, he he did succeed at his check to see what was happening here. Look, uh, is is he is he is he the biggest one on the field? Oh, yes. Uh, he's definitely taller than the others. Uh, pretty lanky as well. Yeah, lank uh, is less fun. <laughs> but uh, Louise and Alvin. Uh, how far away are we? You're in... Uh, I'd, I'd say you're medium range at this point. If you, if you have weapons that are medium range, they would be able to... Uh... I mean, are we in shotgun range? <laughs> I think sh Range of my shotgun is medium. Well, then, yes, absolutely. Uh, although, I kind of should probably. Uh, okay, I'll use. Uh, she'll pull out her SMG and turn her and look at Alvin going, No, just check her, Sean. Nobody a friend of yours, right? No, I'm going to go round two with that guy as I point. As I point. Ooh. Oh, enjoy yourself. And yeah, I will. I don't know, I guess. Cynthia, I guess I'll aim for the one Cynthia missed and see if I can hit him. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Body roll. That's nine. Nine. Uh, now alerted to your presence, you see now um, some of the white razors beginning to pull, uh, beginning to train their uh, pipe rifles and pipe revolvers your way. Um... Some of them even have sort of like slapped together shotguns. Uh, and as you fire off your, uh, what are you, is it your, your shotgun or your SMG? Uh, SMG. You fire off your SMG. Um, you see a couple of white razors sort of take uh, scratches and... Uh, one of them gets caught in the abdomen by your spray of bullets. Uh, but you also, in turn, take some fire uh, as they begin to uh, sort of madly spray bullets in your direction as you take uh, three damage. Three? Yikes. There, there's Oof. a lot of them, and they're um, they're all firing at you at once. All right. That's, that's all right still, I guess. I need to do my... Uh... Is there any cover around me? There is sort of um, a waist-high wall uh, that sort of makes up the gate of this community. I will duck behind that, and I will nod to Alvin, just being like, be careful. Don't mind this number. Thank you. I will give you a very wide smile. And I'll and I will uh, I will uh, shoulder off my shotgun hanging off my shoulder and uh, leave it with you just in case you run out of bullets, dear. Bullets ain't the problem, but if I want to try dual wielding, it might be a good time to try. 
There's a lot of them. And Shut I'm going to break. Just gently patches, pat, pats his cheek before he leans up again. All right. I'm going to spring and kick off out of the cover, and I'm going to run toward the uh, tribal guy. Hey, remember me? And I'm going to go ahead and do a run jump kick into his face. All right, a running jump kick into his face. Let's go, baby. That's a nine. All right, you you spring up uh, and you stick your large muscular foot out forward. You say, remember me? And uh, he, he grins and bares his teeth. You bet I do. And uh, he brings down this, uh, what looks to be an old stop sign that's had its edges sharpened. Uh, he he brings it down into your chest right as you make contact with him as well. He staggers back, and you take two damage. Hot damn. Hot. Yeah. Just I go hot. ahead and just smack off the uh, remainder of my armor, and I uh, look at him and grin. Good to see you <laughs> as I get into a fighting stance. No hiding like a bitch this time. Oh, don't worry. We're not going to hide like a bitch anymore. You already told me where we stand. You're going to get the full package, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Punching my power fist together. All right. And that's that. Uh, what do you want Dave to do? Hide. I, <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, if he feels safe enough to shoot someone, awesome. But if not, that's fine. Just hide. He's Dave. He doesn't if, have to fight. If I see Dave, I'll just you, sort of gesture, be like, you over guys, here, over here. You guys look like you got this covered. And he sort of like... Uh, he <laughs> jitters away he, like a crab. <laughs> he, he, run, he, he runs up to the like waist high wall and immediately enters the fetal position. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he he doesn't he doesn't he he looks like anxious from the gunfire but he doesn't look like upset at all he just looks like this is his lot in life and he he's just makes himself as small as possible oh little <laughs> we're gonna get into a ball get real small that's the plan <laughs> just looks at him to be like yeah okay duck and cover <laughs> duck and cover there was a turtle by the name of Bert. <laughs> Bert the turtle was very alert. Okay, buddy. <laughs> to be fair, uh, I would really like to imagine Dave is actually singing that to himself. Dave has successfully hidden. Great. Thank goodness. Uh, that will bring us to the, the top of initiative, whoever would like to go. Well, Apex is simply going for he's go he's going down a line, basically. Uh, as as many people as he can find on his side to. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, rend. Oh, actually, uh, I forgot about all the people in the botanical gardens. They get their turn as well. Oh, First up awesome. is yeah, yeah. First up is uh. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. First was Darwin. He's gonna take a shot with his rifle. Oh, buddy. Beefs it completely. You hear a loud cling as you see his hunting rifle jam, uh, and he takes uh, some gunfire and he falls onto his back, groaning as some bullets have seemed to have shred through his shoulders. Uh. Babushka is a much better shot. Uh, you see her level that large weapon, and you hear a <laughs> as a big red beam of energy fires out of it, slams into a white razor's chest, and just leaves a smoldering hole where his heart used to be. Oh my, Kay. Wow. Shit, someone's got a mag caster? Sounded lasers. like a plasma weapon. That's uh, lasers. Uh. You see in the in the fray in melee is a individual with sort of um 
gray, uh, 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 not quite gray, but not quite jet black hair. Uh, I guess you, you you would probably describe it as like gunmetal black. Um, he's got an eye patch over one eye, and he is scrapping in there with an old cavalry saber. And he is going nuts. He, like, parries the machete out of a white razor's hand, and he takes his hand and head off in one swift motion. Kelly oh. fucking ho. Oh, my. Uh... Who the fuck's the guy who brought the sword to the gunfight? Fair. I bring my fist to a gunfight every time. My hand doesn't jam. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> um, it creates it. You see um, a, a dark-skinned female individual uh, sort of trying to retreat and hide away from the fight, but your eye catches a white razor uh, sort of chasing and stalking after them, and he appears to have noticed her. Uh, and finally, okay, you see a, uh, a female individual, uh, appears to be the last of this sort of force that's, uh, heading off this invasion, uh, with a loose, uh, ponytail of just the most brilliant red hair, um, is uh, looking down the scope of a sniper rifle and you hear it crack off and you see uh, one of the white razor's heads just explode. Um, she does also, however, suffer uh, a bit of uh, backsplash as some uh, fire peppers her in the side, but she appears to still be kicking. At this point in the battle, there is probably about ten white razors left, including the leader. And so we we return back to uh, Apex's turn. Where we last left the Apex, uh, he was barreling towards the uh, next closest white razor. Bearing... Uh, Intending to bear down upon him with his claw. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll, roll that body. Rolling that body. That's a seven. Roll that body. You come up on the next white razor that appears to be sort of like uh, going over to this waist high wall, looking to try and mount it uh, and get over to where the uh, ranged weapon fighters on the botanical garden side are set up. But you you catch him as he's going over the wall. Uh, you rake your death claw gauntlet across his stomach, and he, uh, as he's bringing an arm around to sort of try and uh, staunch the bleeding, he brings uh, his shotgun up to your leg and lets it go. It doesn't catch you entirely, but you do take two damage as the spray of shotgun pellets uh, grazes your leg. All right do mitigation it glances off some of my armor but does some damage to it uh he remains alive i assume uh he is still alive however bruce oh <laughs> actually uh, his, oh, Br oh. bruce heals him <laughs> bruce Here you go, buddy. Turns, it turns him <laughs> into a duck <laughs> My brother can play a little rough. It's <laughs> uh, as as the like sort of translucent glassy silhouette uh, begins to sidle up to the one you just uh, injured. Uh, you see the uh, you see what uh, what you can only assume to be a stray shot catches him in the helmet. Ping. Uh, you 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 actually see him sort of like take one step back, and then you see his uh, stealth camouflage 
flicker, and fail. And <laughs> a couple of... The fighting stops for the briefest of seconds as this huge individual wearing this dark power armor adorned with a death claws skull suddenly appears and they're they're struck by a moment of awe before the fighting returns <laughs> oh 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 was that a demon oh nope nope okay, okay. is that an oh oni <laughs> you, laugh, but, you laugh but some of these white razors may think that considering what they're under the influence of your brother rolled very poorly on that one uh, however, uh, it is still your go, Runaways. Um, my turn? Go for it. Yeah. All of our turns. You can go first. Oh, go thank ahead. you, Hershine. You're so kind. Go ahead. Sort of, yeah, it's sort okay. of yells out to Alvin, kick his ass, Hershine! Okay, anyway. Uh, hmm. is my mag caster got, my mini mag caster got the range for this? Um... I think your mini mag caster is also medium length. Perfect. Uh, all right. Since it, there's a lot of guys and I would like something a little more substantial, uh, Louise will switch to that. And you mentioned the guy was stalking somebody. Yes. You see, uh, you see a white razor sort of wearing these uh, khaki overalls uh, begin to stalk after a, a dark skinned female individual who appears to try and be hiding, but she was unsuccessful and was found out by a uh, white razor that has sort of breached the wall here. Yeah, fuck that guy. I'll aim for him. If anything, maybe I can distract him from her. Sure thing. That's another nine. Nine. All right. Yeah, you uh, ch begin to charge up the shot from your mini magcaster. The molten metal sort of spinning into a thin uh, white hot bolt that fires out and crashes through this guy's ribcage. You see a spray of blood on the female individual uh, who begins to just scream. <laughs> no, no, I God. I saved you. It's fine. Oh, damn. Well, <laughs> and, and and he's he staggers over and like leans up against the leans his hand up against the wall and looks back over at you. Doesn't appear to have uh, completely taken him down, but he doesn't look happy. The guy's gonna bleed out. Well, unless he has probably. A stupid pose. <laughs> well, you um, did just cauterize the giant wound you made in him. Uh, and just so I know, how many shots does a mat does mini mat caster hold? I think. Uh, there should be a number uh, on your You should sheet. have scrap, like a certain number of scrap, right? Uh, the yeah, amount of shots, the amount of shots needed before you reload. So it is, it's loading one. Okay. So after you fire it once, you need to reload it. And does that take a whole turn? Um, I believe it does. Does it? Yeah. Uh, well, for now, it, yeah. um, Louise will sort of get behind the cover and just be like, I'm starting to warm up to this thing more and more. I guess that'll be my turn. You have the I'll safety. I'll decide you, on the next turn what I do. The idea of having to reload something like that is you have the safety of range as opposed to being in melee, but you give that, uh, give that up by having to give up a turn every now and again. Gotcha. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just go right in, just uh, full, just left cross, just bam, right into the adjusted uh, to the the white razor leader. All right, yeah, you you approach the leader of this band of white razors and you strike at him. Go for it. Oh, oh my lord, that's a five. That's a five. Good. Uh, it's not great. Not what I'd call good. He, it appears as though, um, as opposed to the last time you two fought, uh, this individual appears to be under the influence of, uh, a cocktail of chems, and he ducks out of the range of your strike with a, almost, with a 
almost unnatural swiftness, and he brings up that stop sign, and he and he twists it and pulls it flat, and crashing against your face is the flat of the stop sign. You take two damage as your head begins to ring with this concussive uh, blow to the side of your head. <sighs> Did I say what that damage was? Uh, yeah, you said two damage, but uh, yes. I've sealed one, so does that cut that down to one? It does cut it down to one. Okay. As a matter of fact. Woo! Yeah. Damage uh, tank, Alvin, let's go! <laughs> Well, that was my turn. Yep. Who, whoever would, uh, I believe that's Cynthia. I want Cynthia. to shoot. <laughs> shoot. I want right, to who, shoot whoever looks the weakest. Whoever looks the weakest. The weakest would probably be that, um, the dude that I just slashed. It would probably be either him or the one that was sort of chasing after that female individual. Hmm. Knowing that Apex will definitely take care of this guy and probably get miffed if she helps. Correct. Uh, she'll go for the one <laughs> that's chasing the woman <laughs> because she doesn't want it to be a fight. Uh, so I will roll that body. 11! We like that so much. Excellent. We love that. Sorry. We love Sorry. that. Who is, this? Who is this again? I was, I was looking at the name. I think, I think the guy you're fighting, Alvin, I think his name was Steady. Steady! Ah. That's his name! Was the other one named Rock? Uh, I think the other one was named Bebop. Do <laughs> <laughs> do uh, was he named Was he named Tripper? Tripper and oh. Steady, probably. Uh, yes. So, sorry, who were you aiming at? Uh, the the one who's uh, following after the female person. Right. Uh. You you sort of clear the blockage in your in your uh, hunting rifle, and you aim down the sights with your military training precision, uh, and you just catch him right between the eyes. The hockey mask shatters, revealing a, sort of a, a, a filthy, mangy, patchy beard and hair, uh, and he falls forward, just dead. You you see the. Uh, the individual sort of peek out from behind their hiding spot, uh, lock eyes with you and nod their head and thanks. Cynthia nods in return and uh, uh, goes to turn for the next round. Right on. Uh, Dave is hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, good job. Good, good job, buddy. Good job, they still pal. don't see me. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> so I'm going to my... You. I'm going to my happy spot. <laughs> uh, could, you, could you excuse me for a moment, Alvin? Yeah, sure. No problem, buddy. Of course. Thank you. Wake me, <laughs> <laughs> Wake me up when September ends. Uh, and what are you talking yes. about? <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? What the hell is September? <laughs> so that is, uh, I believe that is nine white razors remaining. Therefore, the oh. citizens of the Botanical Gardens get their round. Oh. Uh, the individual with the uh, with the uh, energy weapon readies another shot. You hear it begin to rev up. And this streak of of red hot energy slams into the head of another white razor and just it is charred like the head of a match and he crumples to the floor dead that's eight white razors remaining whoa wizards Darwin is out of the fight you
Uh, you see another citizen uh, take out yet another white razor. That's seven remaining. However, another spray of gunfire slams into um, this um, individual that uh, is is wearing sort of a similar sort of outfit to Alvin. Not quite the same, but it's sort of like a, a mechanics jumpsuit. Um, very like a like a faded blue, and he takes a couple shots in the gut and crumples to the floor. He is also out of the fight. Uh, the individual that you saved is going to try and hide again, successfully this time. Yay! So wait. and finally dude with a saber who is wading into melee with with most of the rest of these white razors is just slaughtering them. <laughs> oh, wow. He, I he feel is, like he and I will get along or we will is, really hate each other. He is kicking ass in melee with these white razors. Uh, you see him quickly parry another blow and then stick his blade into the stomach of one of the white razors who backs up and begins attacking again. He sort of grits his teeth and grimaces. This guy's uh, awesome. <laughs> finally, so freaking cool. lady on the roof with a sniper rifle misses her <laughs> shot uh, and is assailed with a hail of gunfire. Uh, she is as well out of the fight. Oh no, like passed out the, or dead? The, uh, hard to tell from where you're at right now. Uh, but the tide seems to be turning quickly on the uh, citizens of the Botanical Gardens. Uh, so wait, Darwin is one more time on him. You said he was out of the fight, but can't tell. You or... you look at him and you see uh, blood beginning to seep into his shirt from wounds on his shoulders. It doesn't look like he received an injury in a vital spot, but he okay. is, but is bleeding doing... quite heavily. He's out of the fight. Okay. okay. But he does not appear to be dead. Okay. Good to know. And we have seven left. Oh, wait. Seven dude. white razors, including... Dude, we... Dude with the sword was wrecking people, but he didn't take any down. He didn't. He he didn't take any down. He appears to have injured one, but he did not take anybody down. Okay. It appears that uh, some of these white razors uh, have some sort of chemical buffer against damage that either strengthens their muscles so that physical damage doesn't do as much or something to numb the pain so they don't feel it as much. Uh, hard to tell, really, without examining them, but um, in melee, the White Razor seemed to be uh, quite fearsome. Okay. The guy that just shot me in the thigh with a shotgun, I am going to grab the barrel of that shotgun, rend it from his arm, and try to basically shatter the... Uh, shoulder guard of it over across his face rendering you got him it. unconscious roll that body that's a 10 you nice. do just that as you as he's sort of like like struggling to to keep his innards from spilling out you take the blood slick end of the shotgun and you yank it from his grip and you send the butt of it crashing into his skull there's a spray of wood and splinters that comes out uh, as he hits the floor, unconscious, a mixture of blood and spittle mixing in with the dirt. Uh, I then eye my next target and start dashing that way. Right on. Your brother, now fully visible, going to assess the situation. He... He takes the laser rifle from his, uh, that's slung across his back, and he affixes it and readies a shot, and another similar, like, red beam of energy slams into, uh, 
one of the white razors who crumples down dead. You see he does take some initial gunfire, but it just completely ping ping off of his armor as if nothing happened. Uh, and that white razor is not down? Yes. Uh, that would be now six remaining. There are three... Oh. There are three ranged fighters and three melee fighters. Um, I want to go ahead and get real close to the leader. I want to hook him into a lariat and try to throw him away from the other people. That way he can't shout commands or something. Okay, so you're trying to uh, position him in such a way that he can't really get to his men and give them orders? Yeah, he has to lock with me, basically. Okay, that's going to be a wits roll because you're acting defensively. Oh, sure, let's try it. That's an eight. Eight. Yeah, you use your strength and you physically pick him up and sort of like push him out of the, uh, basically he'd have to, you, you push him away from the greater part of this fight. And it's just the two of you standing out in this open field now. Um, and he hits, he hits the ground and rolls backwards as he does. He brings up the, uh, bladed part of this stop sign weapon that he's fashioned for himself. Uh, and it slices into you, dealing two damage. Uh, on acting defensively, if he rolls successfully, it is half the damage normally. Uh, then you would take one damage, reduced to zero, uh, because of your shield. Yeah. The slash just goes across his shoulder, and Alvin's just staring down with a very, with a very just stony look, and just has a half smile. I said it's just you and me now, didn't I? He levels his gaze at you and he he twists his head to either side. The cracking of uh, joints in his neck uh, sort of piercing the din of fighting in the background. He affixes you with a wide, bloody grin. Daddy, last time we talked, you said Red Hand was dead. I'm going to go ahead and show you a one-on-one -on -one show. Don't be telling nobody now. And that's going to be me. Yeah. I'm not going to let you make a liar out of me. And <laughs> yes. Uh, my turn? Who would like to go next? Go ahead, Louise. Uh, well, I, I mean, I'll, I think I'll just uh, take this turn to uh, reload my magcaster behind cover, and I'll just sort of glance at Dave being like, I hey, holding up. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm all right, I think. Uh, could use a little backup if you want to take that extra shotgun. She gestures towards the one that Alvin left. Oh, okay. Uh, I've got a gun of my own, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Oh my God. Um, Thank you kindly, Dave. Boy, golly, I'll try. <laughs> I don't. I, 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 I'll give it a college swing. I don't think you need to roll to uh, reload. I think it just takes your turn. God, I would hope not. If she's uh, under, if she's under duress, then it's a defense roll. But if everybody else is preoccupied, then nah. Uh, there are still ranged fighters. Um. A lot of them are sort of preoccupied. I'll give it to you for free this time. Whee! Yeah. Uh, for further notice. Um, yeah, so you you sort of pour a little bit of scrap metal into the receiver of the mini magcaster. Uh, that begins to then glow red hot as it melts down into a, a malleable uh, sort of solid liquid mixture of metal oh, liquid yeah, metal pretty. Uh, it's stabbing weapons yeah that'll be me all right all right who is left is that just cynthia or shooty shooty time 
Shooty, just shooty, time, bang, bang. time to pow. All right. Uh, who who is in the most dire situation that would uh, require help at this moment? Um. Should we say? I mean, Alvin's got the one covered. Apex knocked his out. Uh. Yeah. Um. The one who fired at the sniper. The one who fired at. Uh, sword guy is fighting multiple people, or sword sword guy is fighting uh, the uh, two people at once. He's, he's, sure. basi he's basically fighting the other two that have melee weapons. The only other uh, two. Uh, wait, and our long range ones are where? Um, they're facing you, and they're they're training the weapons on you. As okay, you are, time to you're shoot someone that's clearly the bigger me. threat at this point. <laughs> All right, time to time to shoot those people. Uh, and I would assume because I have a rifle that I pick somewhere that I can duck behind afterwards, so I will shoot and then go down. Sure. Boop. Eleven. We love that and, number. And that you do, uh, as you, uh, one of the white razors takes a bullet to the abdomen and he staggers back. Uh, and before he, before a shot can land, you duck back beneath the wall and a spray of brick uh, marks where his shot landed instead of your own robotic body. Uh, that will take us to the only surviving... Well, they're sur surviving. Oh, did, uh, my brother, did my brother do anything this turn? Um, oh, he did not, I guess. Uh, <gasps> Yay. Raza. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to switch weapons next round too. It appears That's as though. That's gonna take he... my whole turn, isn't it? To switch weapons? Yeah, eh. like from uh okay, great. Uh, un unless it's like a heavy weapon, I probably wouldn't. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, so she'll just as she pops down, switch. Yeah, your brother readies another shot uh against the one that sort of just got uh, shot fresh in the abdomen that you just shot, Cynthia. Uh, he levels his rifle and blasts another uh, streak of energy that, uh, <laughs> almost as if trying to trying to uh, play a little game, shoots the exact same spot that you shot and just <laughs> hits it dead on, and uh, a big smoldering hole uh, marks that white razor's death down down to. Whoa. Five, I think. Uh, he does again take another spray of bullets, but he just seems to not mind it at all. Uh, that will bring us to the citizens of the botanical gardens. Oh my god. She's a menace. <laughs> another streak of fire just slams into the back of uh, the white razor that had just uh, gotten stabbed in the gut by this cavalry saber wielding individual, and he he looks up over his shoulder, uh, and he, you hear him say, "I had that," <laughs> and uh, he goes back to fighting the now sole uh, melee fighter that is not the leader of this little excursion. Um, How can you shoot fire like that with the power of my new chem, Wizard Ale? So what are we down to then in terms of white racers? You're down to four? Not for long. Yes, you're down to four. There's two ranged fighters, one melee fighter, and then the dude that Alvin is fighting. Um... Where'd that dice go? Where did that dice? Where did my dice go? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, that landed on a six. Uh, you see... Um, actually, you wouldn't see it. Uh, because that was a stealth roll. Um, Anyone who'd like to, who can, uh, except for Alvin, because you're focused on something mm -hmm. else, make a wits roll. All right. Uh, could 11. I do that if I'm 
while I'm behind because I was switching weapons at that point, I, would I be distracted or would I be able to like peep around and see? Or is this a you, hearing thing? You'd be able to. You'd be able to to see it. Okay. Ten. Uh, yeah, all of you. Um, as the the battle is beginning to quiet down with now less combatants, the uh, you you all take a brief scan around and you notice that where the bodies of the individuals of the botanical gardens fell, they're now missing. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Um. Bastion ponders magic, but then continues on with his. The white razors holding a pipe rifle and a pipe revolver, respectively, look to each other, look around at the scenario, and begin to run. Oh, shit. Nuh-uh. Shooty, shoot. Uh, if there's one close enough to me... I am going to take that gun that I still have in my hand, and if they're running, like, kind of turning and running, I am going to throw that gun at the back of the knee joint to trip them. Okay. I'll just go ahead and roll body. Sure. 13. Oh my god. Yeah. Perfect aim. (laughs) You... You throw the remains of this pipe shotgun at the back of this white razor's legs, uh, and you catch him right at the joint, and he yelps and staggers and stumbles forward, uh, and he uh, appears to try and regain his balance afterwards, but he definitely is slowed down now, and the one with the pipe rifle uh, doesn't even bother to look back, and he is still just sprinting off. Oh, Cynthia will shoot that guy with a pistol. Uh, aiming for the head, back of the With head. With a pistol? I know, not ideal. He is out of range for your Shit. pistol. Puff, wait, what about what about uh, uh, a magcaster? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> you have a magcaster. What if I shot the magcaster? Uh, your what mag if I caster? blasted him with blazing hot iron? What if you fucking shoot molten goo at him? What if I shoot uh, with the Thanatos bone crusher? If I held your hand if, while we watched him What if melt? I attack what him then? with my, What then? What if what I if attack I fu- him with my army of tiny owls? <laughs> what if I fire owls. my omega beams at him, but Superman? What actually though? <laughs> uh Why would you do that cuz I'm fucking dark side. I'm fucking evil. <laughs> I mean, Cynthia would run full sprint as quick as she can to catch up and put them in range of a Let's Irm. let's see. I had written down the range of a Magcaster. <laughs> Magcaster is long range, so yes. Yes! Ooh. Yes! Ah! I'm excited. Okay, great. <laughs> I told you to read it now. <laughs> yes! Hell yeah! yeah! Twelve! Twelve. Yeah. The molten slag sort of catches him in the shoulder and he he stumbles and uh his his arm is just completely like not responding like visibly you can you see him trying to move it and he's looking down in a panic uh he is not dead but he is hurt incapacitated i would say uh, he's he still looks like he's he's going to try to run <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, just to clarify, I did trip mine, right? Like it, it's he's going yeah, to try to get up, but he's he's on all fours moment. right now, okay. trying to push himself back to his feet. But he is he's currently uh, currently within range. Yes. Uh, yeah, and then Cynthia would also start tearing after the dude while uh, refilling the magcaster. Hmm. Uh, is, is that it? Uh, there was the two, and then those are the long range ones, and there were, did Sword Guy kill the other ones? I know I clipped one in the gut, but I don't know if he died or not. Um, he, uh, it looks like the individual with the energy weapon finished off that one. He was a little peeved about it. 
Okay, so there are how many white razors currently then? Just these two? Currently actively in the fight? Uh, actively in the fight are just the one that has sort of like a rusty cleaver and the one that Alvin is fighting. Okay. Uh, did did everyone act? Uh, it was just me and Cynthia so far. Okay. We have uh, Dave, Louise, and oh, did Bruce? Uh, I guess Alvin. Bruce didn't act? Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't act yet. Oh okay. Uh, not this round. Yeah, and Alvin. All right. But yeah, Bruce, uh, our, uh, Dave also now has that rifle. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, God. Oh, I sure do. Oh wait, he has a he has a beam weapon too, doesn't he? Yes, that's true, and people are running away, and he could shoot mm. those people. He, he that does would have be a up for Dave. Sure, he, he does have a laser pistol. That's true. Uh, well, first up is going to be Bruce. He's going to approach the one that you just tripped. Um. <laughs> um. So you you know that one gif of that space marine fighting that orc from the game space marine yes <laughs> so uh bruce strolls up to this downed white razor uh just with uh, heavy thuds coming from his boots and he lifts one of them up and with a sickening splat brings it down on the white razor's head Hell and you yeah. you all hear the breaking of concrete beneath his feet as just an eruption of gray matter and blood sprays up onto his metal boot. Uh, <laughs> that certainly puts a, a, a perk in the step of the other white razor who is running. Yeah, fuck. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> You Let's know, after he, like, space marines and got, how am I going to follow up that, huh? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Do it. Come on, uh, Alvin. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to just uh, just bring my fist up real close. Uh, just bridge the gap with some uh, with some Swain, uh, a la Mike Tyson, and uh, just go right up for an uppercut. Just wham, just try and knock the dude's head and mask and everything right off. Go for it. That's a body roll. That's a 12. There you go. Nice. As, he's, as he begins to wind back and bring the stop sign axe towards you, you close the distance and you get out of the lethal range of the uh, of the weapon he wields. And you bring your fist up and it cracks into the bottom of his chin. The hydraulic press unleashes and he goes and his head goes snapping backwards and he stumbles backwards catching his now dislocated jaw with one hand and looking up at you, broken teeth spilling out of his mouth. As he looks Ow. up at you with an empty animal rage. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, some of the blood on the power fist, smear it on the hydraulic part so the hand's red, and I'm just going to just two fingers just uh, just beckon at him to just come at me. Bruh. Alrighty, is is that uh, everybody's Dave. go? Mm -hmm. Dave, other, other than Dave, Dave, Dave Bruce, Dave, 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 Louise. Dave looks at the one white razor who is fleeing. Uh, looks at his pistol, sees that he's probably out of effective range. He grabs the rifle. Oh boy! Come on! Okay. Wow, yeah, I believe in you. That. I don't want to hurt nobody, but. <laughs> He, he raises it up. Okay. Us. Let's see. And you hear a... <laughs> as he, like, opens both eyes, looks down the barrel. Oh. Uh, I think it jammed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! He rolled, a, he rolled a six. Oh, 
that's Florida, amazing. Louis is sort of like, don't worry about it, Dave. It's okay. It happens to a lot of guys. <laughs> so we've got the retreating guy, the guy Alvin's fighting, and did you say there was one other guy? One dude in melee with the uh, individual that is... Uh... He, he he appears to be wearing some sort of uh, coat around his uh, shoulders, uh, like a cape almost. A one piece man. Sort of uh, called to Cynthia. Are we are we leaving anybody alive? Probably not a great idea. Fair enough. I will aim at the guy running. Go for it. I got enough range for a mag caster shot, do I? For a mini mag? Uh, is it a, oh. is it the mini mag caster? Yes. The mini mag caster is minimum range. He is currently at long range. Uh, can I will switch to my SMG? I think your SMG is also medium range. Oh shit. Uh, let me. Just I mean, Cynthia is also tearing yeah. after this guy, so... Oh, yeah, your okay. SMG is medium range. I don't... It doesn't look like you have any long range options, unfortunately. Long right, range well, is like if, rifles. Uh, I mean, if Cynthia's got it, then I'll just go for the cloaked melee guy. I only my mag caster at him, then. My mini mag caster, mind you. And you mean the one who's fighting the cloaked melee guy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's 10. Uh... The the white hot bolt of molten metal uh, alerts this individual, and he ducks out of the way with uh, sort of uh, dizzying speed. As this individual, this white razor, takes the bolt to the knee and uh, falls over and and clutches the remnants of his knee in pain. Uh, this individual with the eye patch looks over at you and sort of sniffs. Uh, he's, he's got a little bit of a haughty air about him, but... Uh, he brought, okay, fine. He doesn't appreciate me butting in on his fight. Fine. I'll just shrug um, since it seems like that's the only other guy I left. I'm just going to stand up and um, head over to where Alvin is. That's me. Alrighty. I, I believe I believe that is everybody. Um, I believe you're correct. The yes, should be. I believe you are correct. Uh, the individual that is wearing the sort of gray, uh, the gray robes, uh, levels their energy weapon over at uh, the individual that Alvin is fighting but does not fire. It's just sort of watching them. And the individual with the saber, wow, that got some airtime. Is this is You're this right. dice tower making things bouncier? It's got a plus one to bounce. Let's bounce. Hard bounce. Hard bounce. Uh, as, as the individual in front of him hits the floor, clutching his knee, he just sort of nonchalantly brings up the cavalry saber and skewers him through the heart effortlessly and without emotion. And he flicks the blood off of his sword and puts it away into a scabber at his waist. Uh... I believe that does it for the Botanical Gardens folk. And uh, that would bring us to the top, I think. I think the only one of us is, who wants to do something is Cynthia. Is there yeah, any probably. is 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 there anything even near me anymore? The the one that would the individual that would be closest to you is the one that is currently running away. Uh but, he, he, but he's at he he's at long range. You would need to basically spend a turn to close the distance. I will go ahead and do that 
And if nobody else shoots him, I will hunt him down like a dog. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, great. So I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I would assume Magcaster, or am I close enough to pistol at this point? Um... Yeah, it'd probably be your it'd probably be your magcaster. Okay, that's fine. I will roll for magcaster. It's a seven. Um, yeah, I can't really think of any detriments as that is only a minor success. He throws sand at her eyes. Ah. <laughs> uh, and, 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 like, rule it however you will. In a situation where the target is ultimately harmless or fleeing. Probably not a whole lot can go wrong with a, a minor success. He can say something that's mean. What I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Vicious mockery you as he goes uh, down. Vicious mockery as he runs away. Then he dies of cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh my god. Your eyes are stupid. <laughs> you're, you're stupid. <laughs> you're, you're dumb. You might not have a soul, but. <laughs> Ow. That one I know you need. That actually hurt a little bit. That's I need to call you about your car's extended warranty. Why would you just say that? Because he's yeah, trying to be mean. You yeah, lost the coin stops. flip. What? Yeah, Why would you... yeah. <laughs> yeah that's fucked up, Apex. <laughs> <laughs> Runs even faster. Just he he that. he just he dies. He goes down with he his lungs dies? smoldering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. And Apex stops running. Like oh, shoot. Uh, at this point, we'll probably just take it over to Alvin and the White Razor leader. Sees. I mean, I'll take my. All, literally, all of his men die. Also, Dave is still there. Beer be. I mean, and I'll, also I'll... Dave is still there. I mean, I'll take a turn. I mean, I don't plan to shoot or anything. I'm Louise is literally just gonna get close enough to do a respectful viewing distance, and if they notice her, they notice her. It's fine, but she isn't actually going to participate. I told you to run the first time. As I go ahead and do a huge haymaker to the side of his head, just full body, just full strength haymaker to the side of his head. Go for it. Cool. That's a ten. Yeah, it it seems like he's he's having trouble lifting the the sign uh, now as you reel back and you haymaker uh, the individual uh, known as Steady. You crash your power fists into his skull, and when you hit the piston. It just effectively pushes his brain out of his body. Oh. And he, his corpse stumbles backwards and falls dead at your feet. And with that, the quiet once again settles on the wasteland as... Both sides of this skirmish have suffered heavy losses, uh, but we will assess those after a break. Woo! Oh. Water time! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's all go to the water. Let's Make sure you stay hydrated, water. chat. Yeah, Let's all go time. to the water and have ourselves a drink to do. Boop, boop. But seriously, drink the water. Mm -hmm. Hydrate yourself. This is a fucking drink. threat. Drink the water, what? not the Kool Aid. No. Not a, not a threat. A promise. I'm gonna go check on the dogs and do it. See a, see about a medical situation that took place shortly before the stream started. Uh, uh I'll be right back. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. I da 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 dum 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 da dum. All right, hi chat, I'm here. Hello, what are you doing? Are you being good? This is the halftime show. Wah, 
What? That's right, I can see. Tell me your, quick, put put your best dad jokes in the chat. Quickly, quickly. For you. Why would we say anything but yes? <laughs> That's true. I am, I got water. Okay, good. Proud of you, Anime Net. <sighs> Excuse me. Do you ever hiccup and then the hiccup scares you? So you inhale and then um, when you inhale, you swallow too much air and then you burp? Or is that just me? It can't just be me. There have to be other people that do it too. No. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> no? I mean, wait. It's just you. That's a you problem. Wait. <laughs> Hi, burp. I'm dad. Ugh. Yes. Okay. Not the only one. Proud. No, that's because you scare so easily. Oh my god. You're not wrong. What do you get when you cross a kangaroo and a sheep? A woolly jumper? No. A visit from the ethics committee. <laughs> that's a good one. They're lying to you, Caitlin. It's only you? Why is there- why? Why am I the only one? I don't understand. Listen. I have a delicate internal ecosystem. <laughs> I don't know. Don't let someone gaslight you into believing you're in this with someone. <laughs> Listen. You- I think we all have fear burps, don't we? Or as I affectionately refer to them as furps. A fear burp? When you're like, oh my god, and then you're like, <gasps> and you swallow the air that you- you're like, <gasps> and then you swallow that air because it scared you, and then you like burp so or you know yeah you're the only person in the world to ever have oh hiccups but they my turn boy. into burps oh my little boy. you know that some bathrooms have light on timers lights on timers i found out when they turned off while i was in the toilet scare the shit out of me i yeah. had a bit i had a bit of a panic <laughs> why uh, well, when I was coming back from my bed, uh, so my apartment's oh my built like voice. my bathroom is past my bedroom, right? Uh -huh. And I shut uh -huh. my bedroom door and I didn't turn the light on. Uh, and I walked to the bathroom and then when I was coming back, uh, I couldn't find the door off my door. Oh my god. <laughs> and so I'm like, wait, it should be here. And it feels like the door, but I'm like patting around, I'm going, where's the knob? Where's the knob? Where's the knob? Where's the knob? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm willing to accept that this is likely a me thing, but have you ever walked into a room that is dark and you're like, man, I hope when I turn on the light, I'm not in a completely different reality. I had a nightmare like that. Right? See? Yes. Okay. See, chat? Not alone. Not yeah, alone. Yeah, no. It. I won't go into deets, but like, man, it was creepy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You like turn on the light and you're like, I'm in a forest. Yeah, because it felt These familiar. These trees are alive. What happened? Yeah, because it felt familiar. It was my bedroom. Not a sound. Turned on the light. Completely <laughs> alien landscape. Like. Yeah. Yeah, in a dream though, right? In a dream. Yeah, in a dream. Of course. Okay, it's I just want to make sure that it. I don't know. You know what? The world is a strange place. <laughs> I feel like I'm making chat really worried about me tonight. <laughs> Yo, you and me both, right? Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If there was going to be an Eldritch thing, I think it would happen to you and I. Oh, it would be so fun. Oh, I don't know if that's the one. Well, okay. Well, it would be creepy, but, like, part of me is just like, ah, oh, look how this crystal is. Ah, and just, like, keep running. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I'd yell. I'd probably be like, do I have friends here? I'm your friend. Well, n in the alternate reality that when you turn the lights on, I'm in a dark room. Uh, yeah. There. Yeah. There. there. What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> what, do you what do you mean, what? This is so straightforward. Oh my god, Caitlin, this is how it begins. This is how they all get worried about us. Oh, this god. is how it begins. What are you talking about another reality? Like, yeah. when you walk in a dark room, and then you turn on the light, and you're in a completely different universe. But like a different Kate reality of being. I hate when that happens. Caitlin, this is how it starts. Now our friends are thinking are crazy. This is this, this is the loss of like this is a loss of sanity, the death of it. This, this really is just like we're we're now just currently just being two people in a, like like in a mythos novel right now. Okay, like that's but what we are. Just yeah. In the room with the 
light on. What do you mean? It's just the room with the light on. It's not another universe. Are you sure? But how do you know? Yeah. Yeah, how do you know? Where are your thumbs? <laughs> Which one did you have there. first? Where are your fingers? It's a parallel universe. Mm -hmm. That's exactly the same as the first universe, except mm -hmm. in this universe, the lights are on. Oh my god. Oh my. Write that down. Write that down. That's such a good idea. Just write that wait, down. Wait, write wait. That down. I, I think. Look, I watched I lights think... out. I don't need it in real life. Uh, no, I can't watch that. I can't. That gave me. I like had goosebumps. I wanted to throw up a little bit when you said that. What's lights I've, out? I've, I've, I had a little, I had a little game it's, called it's, Lights Out. But... The short, the short that the movie is based off of is way better than the movie. I'll oh, say I that. Love, I like all their shorts. They have a lot of good shorts. No, I hate it. I'm never. I'm never gonna watch it. It's basically, it's basically it rabbit. The uh, the story of Lights Out is essentially there is a ghost demon thingy. Mm -hmm. that can only be seen in a dark room. Like, if you turn off the lights, it's there. If you turn it on, it's gone. And so the most effective scare they have is, oh, there's a flickering light outside the window. Every time the light goes on, you don't see it. The person, like, then the light goes off, and then you see them. And then that the light goes cool. on, and they're just standing there. And then the light goes off, and boom, they're in your face. Ah, jump scare. That is the movie. That is the movie. I, I don't, I've yeah, given you the movie. Yeah, that's why I don't want to watch it. It would, that's it would wreck that's my brain for months. That must be pretty I'm sick, gonna, though. Like I said, look up, look up the short. The short, the short yeah. is very good. Yeah, the short. I, I, the short's only like it's under three minutes too. It's. I love all their shorts. I've watched kinda, more than just that short. It's kind of no. like how Skinnamarink is based off of a short film that well, the director did, but it is like only seven minutes long instead of like. 65. Oh, wow. But it's literally the same thing. It's just creepy things happening to lo-fi sounds. Oh, he did a new one just oh. eight months ago. Oh, wow. I, I think creepy know. things during lo-fi sounds is literally what sleep paralysis looks and hears like. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Skinnamarink, creepy vibe. Real, mm -hmm. like, and, and the bedroom scene? Oh, my God. Like, real, like, oh, I actually had anxiety during that scene, but. I've yeah. never watched that either, Skinnamarink. Do you think... The, the monster ever enters a club and like breaks it down when the strobe lights are going. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I burp, think burp, they burp, don't. Burp, I'm burp, devastated. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Yo, uh, demon from Lights Out, goaded with the sauce. Wow. Wow. Hard. Huh. Anyway. It makes you like think. Always, it makes you think. I like, I like this guy always uses like the same woman in all his horror shorts. I don't know if it's his wife or something, but she's good. Are we all uh, back? I am. I love the chat is now Hold dancing on. to the uh, like horror yes. monster being in the club. <laughs> rave, rave lights out. <laughs> Nightmare <laughs> crab rave. <laughs> monster from lights out hitting the gritty with the monster from it follows. Are they good oh. with the sauce? <laughs> I think the last horror movie I watched was Smile, but I was a little underwhelmed. Cringe okay. ass nay nay monster. Am... I'm the type of person who gets so scared of scary movies that I read the Wikipedia plots <laughs> just, just so just. I can know what happened, but don't have to experience but it. But yeah, don't or, have to deal with it. Or I will watch like just the jump scare moments, like a compilation of the scariest moments so that I've quote unquote seen them Wait so that I don't Why have to watch, watch them. That? That's the worst part. Yeah, but then I don't, like, I'll read the plot so I know what's mm. coming. So then it's like, okay, here are these specific scary moments, and they label them, and I'm like, ah, okay, so if it's going to be this one. And then I, sometimes I'll put it on, like, half speed, so they go really slow, and I can, like, analyze what they did and how they did it, so it doesn't scare me. <laughs> if you want right, to yeah. channel, oh, sorry. We we should probably oh, right. yeah, get yeah, back yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, right, sorry. right. Uh, all right. Became a scary Who movie knows? podcast. Uh, is, I would is, love that. Uh, is everyone here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all bye right. chat. Because Let's do bye chat. Or don't. Don't do Kim's chat. Or do. I'm not a cop. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Louise is just like, yeah, don't. <laughs> if you do that, Psycho, I'll punch you in the face. As the... As silence uh, settles back over the wasteland once more, combat 
has concluded the White Razors all lie dead. And the the small force uh that was once the visit the citizens of the Missouri Botanical Gardens uh now two in number. Aww. Uh slowly begin to put away their weapons and uh the individual with the eye patch and the saber begins to sort of like kick over the bodies of the white razors and begin searching them. Louise sees that and she's like, oh shit, he ain't getting everything. I'm gonna go find a white razor to go search myself. With uh, my foot, gonna... I'm gonna kick the stop sign that uh, Steady was holding. Uh, the the individual sees you beginning to approach the bodies, and with with a bit of a sneer, he begins like tossing uh, bodies over the wall onto onto essentially quote unquote his side. <laughs> oh. he's, he's he's very he's, he's very strong to be able to do he, that. He he does have to be pretty strong. He's like heaving these bodies. Oh, you uh, you pissy son of a bitch! Don't be like that. Just because I I helped you. No one asked you to help. Yeah, well, firefight. Don't be a dick about it. Jeez, gonna go find a body for me. The the gray the. Gray robed individual uh sort of slowly approaches and, and touches the man's shoulder. Now now do not be uh, do not be nasty to our new visitors. A dick. <laughs> yes, do not be a dick, Yorick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These guests of ours here have uh, prevented us from total annihilation this day. Cynthia would probably get back around this time, dragging the bodies and slumping them towards whoever is, seems interested in looting them, probably Louise. <laughs> the Louise will see her coming and just go, mine! Running! <laughs> they are deserving of a, a piece of the share. <sighs> I'm going to well. thoroughly investigate uh, Steady's debrained body, by the way, seeing if there's a note left left to him for, like, jet or some kind of plan, and then I'm gonna take that giant stop sign axe he had. Uh, make a wits roll. You got it. Ten. Um, as you proceed to search over Steady's body, um, you do not find a note, uh, on him. However, you do find a bit of loot on his body, particularly you find a stim pack, a dose of jet. And a dose of psycho. Boy, it was mixing and matching. Ugh. That's what I do when I play seventy six. Yeah, Al <laughs> Alvin, without even without even really need needing to do any checks, you could probably tell that uh, Steady was on a a cocktail of cams. No wonder. Uh, he, no wonder he moves so fast. Yeah, and you you heave this. Uh, Stop sign that it feels quite heavy. He was swinging it around pretty good, but it, it feels quite heavy in your grip. It is a heavy weapon. Uh, but go ahead and add the heart stopper to your inventory. That's heart stopper? That's so cool. I can't wait to use this. And somebody and I scream, it's time to stop. <laughs> it's time to stop. Where the <laughs> fuck are your parents? That's me when I just kick in the door of the motorsports park. Wow. <laughs> I'll give you the stats on that later. Thank um, you. Cynthia, yes, she, oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I was going to I was gonna say, Louise, go ahead and you can roll a, a wits roll as well to try and see what, what you can get off of these. Uh... I just realized. 
realized I had my role prepped and ready to go, just have to hit enter, except I typed it in Discord. <laughs> oh, nice. Good. Yeah. That's enough. Also, Cynthia was going to ask her to look for ammo. Sure, I'll look for ammo. I'll I look. I'll look on whatever thank you. this guy's got. Please and okay. thank you. Tiku. You can look uh, stuff too. In we'll total, go talk to people. Louise, from the a uh, few bodies you uh, have access to currently, you find a half drank bottle of whiskey. Ha <laughs> More whiskey! Is it radiated? You, find, uh, you, you pull it close to your pit boy and it does not begin to click and clack. You can nice. probably deduce that it is not, in fact, irradiated. Uh, you find a single dose of Radex. It's the uh, raddiest. And you find, interestingly enough, you find sort of a, a bulbous purple uh, fleshy fruit that has just blisteringly yellow leaves. Uh, it's it's sort of... Uh, to, to you, in the modern-day sensibilities, it looks like it would be just a, a huge cluster of grapes. But they all... Uh, they all sort of come from one single source. They're not, like, individual grapes. They're all sort of, like, fused together at the core. Um, this is... Uh, Go ahead and give me a smarts roll. Oh, sure. I was just going to call it mystery fruit. <laughs> I think that's plus two, two. That's another nine. Uh, This is what is known as a mute fruit. Oh. fruit. This is in, in some of the places where the soil is a bit more um, fertile and not as Road. radiation blasted that you can actually grow things out of it. Uh, you know that occasionally uh, a mute fruit will be produced. Um, they are safe to eat, but they are still uh, they do still impart radiation. Uh, hmm. So you, you can eat a mute fruit, but you will be taking some radiation. I'd have to be very desperate, I suppose. I still got a few things. Yeah, that's okay. that's basically basically the um Oh fuck. Brain, come on. <laughs> it's basically <laughs> the the general consensus on mute fruit is that they're basically you'd you'd need to be desperate in order to eat it. But it is safe to eat. If you've got okay. if you've got Radaway or Radex, then you could probably if you can safely... purge your system of the poisons. That is true. That is true. Okay. That is true. Ooh. Well, that's true right there. Oh, that is true right there. Well, uh, Louise will be generally pleased with what she's found. She will go and check on Alvin. And Cynthia was approaching Yorick and Grey Cloak. Yes. Uh, the individual with the gray cloak turns to you as you approach. Uh, the person who was addressed as Yorick uh, sort of folds his arms over his chest. Uh, you can see now he, he's got a quite developed uh, lithe musculature to him on closer inspection, and he just sort of stares down at you. Uh, Yorick, was it? And, uh, sorry, your name is? Uh, the, uh, citizens around here simply refer to me as Babushka. Ah, so you're who, uh, Darwin was talking about before. Ah, you have met my young Darwin, have you? Yes. yes. He has told me about you, the, uh, fiery-eyed, uh, well, not quite a woman, but, uh, yes, I know about you. I was wondering, where did the injured go off to? I 
do have medical training and wanted to see to their wounds if they're all right. Well, if that's all right with you, rather. I believe my, uh, I believe our, uh, one of the helpers around here, Holland, he might have, uh, taken them away to get some medical treatment inside. But you say you are skilled in this? Yes, I was a nurse for a long time. Then your skills are required if you would lend us the boon of your aid once more, stranger. I would be most appreciative and allow you into our sanctum. Of course. Show me the way. Yorick, come and bring the bodies with you. And Yorick sort of grumbles and and, le and leans in and, and mutters, don't try anything. And if we were going to try something, we would have done it already. Mm -hmm. As he... the Dread Brothers come marching up. Yeah, we're the ones who we're the ones whose parents you might have attacked. Uh, yeah, Don't you. Are you concerned you... about the guy who just punched out the guy with the stop sign? The uh, individual known as Yorick, he he goes over to the uh, about four or so bodies. Um, he he sort of ties bits of their clothing together and um, fashions like a makeshift rope that's attached to all of them, and he just begins dragging them all at once behind him, just to like a oh my quad God. quadruple trail of blood follows in his wake. I like As him. You Oh my god. Uh, the the dread brothers vault over the <laughs> waist high. It, it's just a little it's just a little step for Bruce cuz he's just so tall, especially in the power armor. Uh and he follows behind you. I feel you. I feel like I could just be riding on his shoulder like the elder Tagoro <laughs> brother just Oh, <laughs> cute. Probably. Uh but you all enter into this uh, sort of closed off area this walled off from the rest of the uh, wasteland you enter into the Missouri Botanical Gardens wow yeah. immediately I'm looking around for any signs of because, like, my parents had essentially, like, a lab and, like, a bunch of equipment. I'm looking for any signs of places where they might store that or just it out in the open. Uh, you are brought along a sort of uh, cobblestone path set beside what was probably once uh lush greenery uh, now formed of just a bunch of dead trees. You see signposts to mark where certain things are. You see a large stone with a plaque sort of built into it, uh, set to be a, a memorial to someone who uh, donated money to this place once before the war, now sort of uh, standing as a uh, the test of time. Uh, everything here looks pretty well taken care of. The further you walk in, um, the more structures begin to crop up. You see actually, uh, houses made of, like, sheet metal and actually wood, uh, that appear to be almost brand new, uh, begin to crop up in your path, and you see people poking out of their houses, um... How many people are in this area? Just judging from a brief glance, uh, you think there's probably around 10 or 12 people in this compound altogether. Um, you are brought 
to a a sort of large garden court area uh, where some makeshift beds are laid out and you see a couple of uh, injured individuals, including Darwin, uh, are laid out flat and you see an, an individual with this strawberry blonde hair um, uh, wearing uh, these rubber, white rubber gloves and trying to uh, suture shut some of these wounds. Uh, but he is quite obviously uh, overburdened. Uh, Apex, as you look around, you don't see anything that you would recognize as uh, your, your parents' equipment. But go ahead and give me a wits roll. I will. Yeah, but yeah, that's an eight. An eight? It's odd. The the wasteland has sort of a permanent stink to it. Like ash and dirt and blood all mixed together and aged by hundreds of years. Just this arid scent. Uh, however, as you step cl uh, further into the botanical gardens, you notice the smell changes in here. It's almost sweet. It's easier to breathe. I lean close to my brother. The air smells cleaner here. I think we're close. Smells cleaner. Yes. He 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 takes off his uh the death claw helmet. skulled helmet and with a hiss he takes it off. Yeah. I smell it too. Um, Babushka begins to uh, motion for you all to to come closer in. Come, come. As far as I am concerned, you are a part of this community now, and so I see no reason to hide its secrets from you. Yes, please tell me everything. I was going to. Glances at Apex like, eh, okay. Cynthia is eyes on the people <laughs> that are getting sutured, so she will scurry her way over there and start uh, paying attention to that. I'm just marveling at all the stuff around here and why the air doesn't smell like gore. Uh, Cynthia, you're going to try and uh, tend to these individuals. Um, what is your medical check? Is that a so, smart roll? Uh, I don't have. I've already did it. That was the role I was like, don't pay attention to this, because uh, I was doing my doctor role. Um, because okay. I do, uh, I do a plus smarts, and that is how many doctor points right. I have for the day. That um, is correct. So if there's an injury, like an intense injury, um, that'll take more points. Um, but if they're in okay shape, then I can just heal them up for individuals for one. You month. you rolled eight, right? Yes. I'd say that by the end of your treatment, you will be left with two. Uh, okay. But you do manage to stabilize all these individuals. You see their, um, Darwin's injuries are. Uh, not as severe as the other two. Um, he got shot in the shoulders. He was in. He was more in danger of bleeding out. But as soon, uh, it appears as though this individual who uh, Babushka addressed as Holland, he 
uh, sewed up those wounds. And uh, Darwin appears to be all uh, sort of all right now. Okay. The other two... Um, Uh, da, da, da. The the lady with the sniper rifle with the fiery red hair, um, she's gut shot, and there oh, is another man. one. Uh, yes, the individual that was wearing the uh, sort of mechanics jumpsuit, uh, his injury was a bit more severe. He got shot in his uh, near his chest. However, with, with time and medical precision and your uh, An assistant, robotic, which is your robotic composure, uh, you do manage to safely uh, get these people back to a stable scenario. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried I didn't have enough points. Now you have to do is hope that they didn't hurt my mommy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they're saved! Oh no, Perhaps. they're oh, dead! No. <laughs> they're saved! Perhaps, here comes the follow-up question. <laughs> uh, once Cynthia's all done, then she would go over and catch up with whatever Babushka decided to tell everyone. Or if he was talking while she's working, either or. Louise, like, sort of sidles over to Alvin, she's like, Hey, look what I got. Shows him the mute fruit. Oh, do you know what these are, yeah? Uh, make a smarts roll. Eight. Yeah, you've probably stolen and eaten a few of these in your time. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you know, they're, they're, they're generally safe to eat, yep. Despite the radiation. They're not bad, the you you you'll want rad X or something if you eat a bunch of them, but <laughs> they're rad tastic. Tingly tummy, huh? Oh, damn, oh, absolutely. You get the tingle, something fierce in them. You seem like you've made this a habit, then. Oh, I mean, you do what you gotta. <laughs> you getting anything off your uh, sparring partner besides your brain? His brains on your gloves? I have his stop side strapped to my back. <laughs> Oh, are you seriously just going to be carrying that thing around now? Yes. You'd be, I mean, you'd be surprised what I'm good at using. You have power fists. Man, now I can have power fists and whatever this thing is. I'm going to closely examine <laughs> it at, over the night. And, you know, if it's worth using, it's worth using. It was, I mean, if it was worth using for him, it's probably worth a look. Then I, then I also found a stem pack, too. That's a fucking good haul. Oh, hell of a damn haul. What about you? You found anything nice? Uh, mute fruit. Um, rad X. Um, God, there's something else. What was it? Uh, oh! Holds out another half full bottle, another bottle of somewhat full of whiskey. I just keep winning. Oh, well, all you do is find small victories, I'll tell you. <sighs> oh, man. Uh, Babushka will will turn to face you all and, and sort of cup her hands together in front of her uh, stomach. So, what brings you to this part of the wasteland? I... Sure. <clears throat> Sorry, what was that? Surely, fighters of your caliber were not simply passing through. I'll look over at. Uh, I'll look over to Apex. Yep. Well, this is your. Well, this seems to be your expertise, little buddy. Gonna let him take it. In a manner of speaking, we were passing through. You see, a pair of people were injured around here. We were on our way to see them, but wanted to stop by here to see the area. Hmm. 
Hmm. You tell Here me. Of people? Yes. Scientists. How is he reacting to that? Uh, she is. Oh, sorry. Uh, How are they? She sort of like twists her mouth and like she's thinking. Do you have a better description of them? I do not know if I've seen anyone who looks like a scientist. Takes one to know one. Uh, does not appear to be uh, trying to deceive you in any way. Seems to be genuine confusion. Man and a woman in their early 60s, late 50s. Uh, at this point, you see uh, Yorick making his way back over to this group, uh, just cake caked in blood. Uh, on the front of his face, he, he, he like, he, like, dusts off his hands and some, like, dried, crushed over blood cracks off of his gloves. And, uh, Babushka leans over to him and she whispers, It was, was just nothing to combo. Uh, and he thinks for a moment. Yeah, I think the... I think the other day I think the other day I heard some sort of a commotion outside went to go check didn't really find anything other than a bunch of equipment can I slap Is him with tape Cynthia on still one working time? hmm Sorry, two people talk at once go you got it Galen Oh, oh shit, okay. I, I was just gonna ask if that pinged my take one to no one. Uh your take one to no one does not uh give you any indication that Yorick is uh lying to you either. Uh he's I trying to rec- myself, trying- I don't want to abuse it. That's fine. Uh he's trying to recall knowledge to the best of his ability. Um, and what I was asking is, did they wait? Is Cynthia within earshot? Is she working on the injured people? Because I know that that would take some time. Or did Babushka wait for, um, like, more in-depth talks until she was done? This is probably happening while you're working on them. Okay, so close enough within earshot? Or is Cynthia completely focused? You're in earshot. In? Okay. Got it, got it, got it. So I'll just be listening. That mm-hmm. primarily. The equipment you found. I assume that is why the air is smelling so nice. This is half true. Which half? Hmm. Perhaps it is best if I just show you. It is Siuda. Follow me. I follow. I put a reassuring shoulder uh, hand on your shoulder. Just. I, I I'm yeah, just kind of keeping my senses about me, especially on the one that is festooned with gore. Um, if Louise, uh, sorry, if Cynthia is gonna stay behind and treat people, Louise will stay with her. Um, though she will sort of uh, lean into Apex's ear sh- earshot and just say, "No lies so far." I nod. Give him a pat. You guys go on ahead. I'll keep Cynthia company. As you are led further into, uh this general area of the botanical gardens. Um, the air around you begins to smell increasingly more and more uh, palatable and clean. Uh, you are eventually led to a what looks to be a large old house. Uh, and the sight that greets you as you all step inside 
shocks you equally as growing from the railways and rafters and out of display cases is a verdant green plantscape. And that is where we're going to end the session for this week. Oh, oh shit. Man. That's so oh, cool. Damn. They, got my, they got my parents' shit to work. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye. I won't Goodbye, hang up. Goodbye, Austin. Me. Bye, Austin. I will hang up. <laughs> 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 and so. I'm back. I got lonely. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's Welcome fair. back, buddy. It's okay. What did that prove to you? <laughs> Don't worry, little man. Uh, that I constantly need attention. No, that's fair. Oh. All right. Well, you guys made it to the botanical gardens. We did. Oh. Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> God, I just looked in the fucking gateway memes. The the lethal company stop sign. <laughs> Wait, uh, look, oh, look, I'm not, look. look, I'm not going to tell you, but um, one of these pictures definitely is my computer desktop now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Excellent. <laughs> well, amazing. Thank you all for stopping by, everybody. This is a, a, a fun episode. Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's the first episode that I actually uh, prepped using my Obsidian Vault. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Finally opened one up for good old Gateway. And it has no. helped immensely. I bet it has. Now all my notes aren't scattered to the wind. That would Yay. probably help me. It, I honestly recommend Obsidian a lot. It is free. It is really good. If you've got even the slightest knowledge of coding, it, it would probably be very helpful to you. It might be less than helpful to me then. <laughs> well, there are plenty of tutorials online as well. So don't lose heart. Okay, if, I won't. If I can learn how to use it, anyone can. I, I, I'm I, only good at learning so many things at once, and currently I'm learning the ukulele. Ooh. Oh. Oh, you're, oh, you're learning the Scepter of Dominance? Hot damn. I know the well, four chords you need for most things right now. That's Please. awesome. Excellent, excellent. Well, let's go ahead and deintroduce ourselves, shall we? Yeah. Starting with Caitlin, we're going to find you. What are you up to? Hi, hey, hello. My name is Caitlin Elizabeth. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog here on Twitch. It's Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. Twitch doesn't like boobs. Um, uh, I will hopefully be streaming some random times this week. That's the Wild West. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but uh, I'll probably show up with some power washer. Uh, I need to finish the Christmas levels. We started that <laughs> way after Christmas, so I really want to finish those. Um, and then I don't know. Who knows what else will pop up? Maybe some Sark Squad will finally come back. Oh! oh. Um, maybe. We'll see when everyone's available. But yeah, that's it for me. And then we'll uh, be back with Roll Ties the Bind on Monday. This Monday. We're Hello. back. Hell yeah. Smell yeah. The beginning of the Hell end yeah. begins. Yeah. Right on. Speaking of the DM extraordinaire for that campaign, Lanny Vador, where can they find you? What are you up to? That's me. Monday, five o'clock central time. Ties that bind. It's back. The Connolly family is dealing with geopolitical bullshit. There is a cold war. It's heating up. Can they stop it? I don't know. That's up to them oh and the dice, for real. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. but, but there's much to be done. Much shall happen. And I have no idea what it will be, except for the parts that I have planned. But even those can go straight out the window as soon as somebody casts the wrong spell. Okay, that feels targeted. At, at Shadow, <laughs> who is not here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> feels targeted. Uh, but yeah, other than that, gonna be playing a bunch of stuff. Uh, got that there new Tekken 8. Pretty fun trying to learn how to Tekken. Really like Kuma. Like being a big old stupid bear. <laughs> it's a fun time. Uh, probably gonna play a bunch of Against the Storm, which is my new favorite chill out game. It's basically just a roguelike where you're building cities to 
try to reclaim a land that was destroyed by a fantasy storm. I don't know. It's 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 really neat and really fun, and it it has taken over a lot of my downtime. Uh, but yeah, that's that's mostly it for me. Feel free to shoot me a follow and ties that bind five o'clock central time Monday. Hell yeah. Also, sorry if you hear my phone beeping and booping. My my ailing mother just got home from the doing? emergency she room. Doing good? Uh, she's she's doing all right now. Uh, she's got the worst case of pink eye I've ever seen. Oof. Hopefully, they gave her some medicated drops. So that was the whole oh yeah, antibiotics, steroids, pain meds, and eye drops. Hell Ooh. yeah, the fun stuff. She's she's doing fine. She's she's drifting off the sleepy time junction right now. Stuff the tincture. In your is so much fun. The tincture. The tincture. Uh. Yeah, but other than that, rabbit. We're gonna find hey, you. What are you up to? Oh, uh, nothing much. Uh, been uh, just been writing and doing work and whatnot because that's who I am. I'm uh, I'm rabbit. That's a uh, I'm a writer, a comedian. Uh, trying to do voice acting, all kinds of fun stuff. Really, I'm, uh, this is a new year, so I'm just trying to get into a lot of lot of stuff and just draft up a couple things. Or like these might be fun and whatnot. And if you want to see my fun stuff, you can see my shows on uh, twitch.tv slash Hey Mr. Rabbit. Uh, you can find my uh, fun little dum dum tweets on uh, on Twitter. Hey Mr. Rabbit. And you can catch up my VODs on YouTube, hey, Mr. Rabbit. Um, and uh, as far as we got going on, not a whole lot. I still do uh, horror games on Thursday with Groove and Sarah, and I still do Falcom games with Midnight, mm-hmm. uh, Good Friend Midnight on uh, on Fridays. We play Falcom games. We've been playing every Falcom game, and we have now are at the seventh Trails game, which is unreal. It's the longest lasting thing in the channel, really. Uh, playing uh, playing those games and um, yeah, I also play action RPGs and just all kinds of stuff. I'm doing a thing now where I'm just I'm just financially pulling a Dave, just becoming real small, uh, <laughs> and so I'm just playing everything on my Steam list right now and just uh, just getting out a lot of stuff in the backlog because I got all kinds of fun stuff. But I'm like, you know, I did buy this in a Steam sale when it was two dollars. Is it good? It sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we're just going to do that this year, and I think it's going to be real fun. And I'd like all of you watching to go ahead and uh, be a part of that. So if you want to be a part of that, just come on down to twitch.tv slash Rabbit. okay? We'll have a lot of fun, I promise. Heck, man. Excellent. Up next, we've got Sarah. Where can they find you? And what are you up to? I'm hmm. on Twitter. It's Sarah with an H and with an E. Willia. Uh, uh, Got it. Eh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Um, I suppose that just leaves me. I think if I'm me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, as well as Tumblr and Blue Sky Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Sometimes I'll stream at other times during the week. Be sure to tune in to my Discord or my Twitter for that. Um playing through uh usually playing through God of War 2018 on Thursdays with so Therapod. Uh, it's pretty good. I, I'm I'm having a blast. Um yes. Uh Also, be sure to look at my DMs Guild for uh, updates on my homebrew content that I'm banging out. Uh, the Photomancer's Spellbook is currently in production. Uh, that'll be out when it's out. I'm not sure what is going to be happening uh, with that. I'm currently just finding time to work on it. Uh, but a, a certain white-clad warlock may have a spell named after him in that book. Ooh. Steve? That's right. Steve the Warlock. Steve the I'm Warlock. I'm gonna cast Steve Bolt at third level! Okay, here I go. Mm. Third level, Steve Bolt. <laughs> it just fires out the letters, the word that spells Steve, and when it goes out, it just goes Steve. <laughs> just very slowly. 
<laughs> it only travels like one foot every like in-game round, but like, man, it hurts. Well, you know what would help no you? No one ever in... escapes the quad laser. <laughs> Dodging <laughs> is useless. Behold, it's massive size. Uh, well, you know what would help you aim those Eldritch Blasts uh, is a dice from Die Hard Dice. Ooh! Die Hard Dice! The diciest. That's right. <laughs> it's the diciest. Die Hard Dice is, as always, your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES save 10% on your order. As well, check out our spring store. We got all sorts of designs on there that you can turn into pretty much anything you want. It's actually crazy. Uh, as well, we couldn't do this week in, week out without bits and subs from viewers like you. Yeah! Viewers such as oh, viewers. Oregon Native. Thank you for the 10 bits. This is all I can spare. No problem at all. Thank you so Thank much you. for for your donation. However small, it helps us immensely. Thank you. Uh, However small, just, it helps us all. Just be sure to to uh, when whenever you're thinking about donating bits to somewhere, you always gotta prioritize numero uno. Think of yourself yep. and your own finances first. Those are always the most important. Mm -hmm. But if you can spare some, we greatly appreciate. it. Hard Knock Dice. Thank you for the raid with a party of nine. <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, colloquially known as Mark. Mark Allen Jr. Oh, hey. Thank you for the raid with a party of 11. He's the Markiest. <laughs> and Bangerang Elico, thank you for the 100 bits. On Monday, I'm playtesting a Fallout TTRPG playing in Vault Dweller who somehow still ended up becoming a ghoul. Lived so long they made him overseer and noped out when the all clear was given. May have lost his vault to an incident involving a kickball. <laughs> you gotta be careful when you make a bargain. That's all I'm saying. This is a reference that not a lot of people here get, but I get it. If you make a deal, you stick to the deal. <laughs> That's all I'll one say of, about that. One of them Faustian bargains. Every every bargain with the captain is a Faustian bargain. Indeed. It's Faceless42, thank you for the 10 bits. First off, congrats on Alvin getting a new stop sign. Secondly, better hope those parents are alive. Well, we're, uh, Cynthia said they're alive, so I believe that. Yeah. They are. Indeed. And Thomas uh, uh, Thomas Solorio, thank you for the 14 bits. Uh, take the rest of my bits. Sarah, is Phil inspired by the girl in the Mystery Men whose dad is in her bowling ball and they talk? No. no. I love that movie. I like that movie, though, but no. Uh, I haven't thought well, of Mystery Men in a very long time. Wowzers. I've never even heard of such a thing. I'm gonna tie you to it a was, chair and force you to watch it. Like it was one. It was one of those movies that came out when I was like, God, some somewhere around ten, and I wanted to see it in the theater. I ended up seeing it in the theater like three times. It pissed my parents off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that movie was so cool. The shoveler I mean, was my favorite character. Yeah, it's it's Ben Stiller. It's uh, Kel from yeah William H Macy. Kel from Keenan and Kel. Like that was his. Kind of his only thing outside of Keenan and Kel. Damn. Fucking, fucking Pee Wee Herman was. Yeah. Yeah, Paul Rubin is. It's it's really good. It's it, it was like a parody of superhero movies before superhero movies were overblown. Uh, overblown. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I, honestly, that's the best way to go about it. Mm? Sounds wacky. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah, we should definitely watch it sometime, buddy. You'll love it. Absolutely. Well, with that. We could probably go ahead and wrap it up right there. Let's see who we can raid. Sounds all right, then. Uh, Zito is currently playing some funny cart game. We can go ahead and raid him. 
funny card game. Let's so. read Zito. He's a fun fella. He is. What should our read message be? You stop. <laughs> it's time to stop. The read message it's time is time stop. To stop. Stop. <laughs> big... Yes, just stop. 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 <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Take care, everyone. I will see. Oh, can we get one more? Can we get one more cadet? I just need one more. One more. One more. Come on. Oh, I see it. One more. Come on. I just need one more. You're going to. You, uh, Come on. Get back in there. Get back more. in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. So stressful. Come on. It's so stressful. Come on. Yeah, man. Come on. Oh, Run out of time, everyone. Your there it is! Yeah! We got it.